Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Sarah. And you should go listen to a Swift review, a Tom Swift recap podcast. Sarah and I review weekly episodes of CW's Tom Swift, and we have special interviews lined up for y'all. So go watch the show and then tune into a Swift review. Till next time, Swift Squad. Bye. While in post-production on the fifth Potter film, The Order of the Phoenix, director David Yates was asked to return to the helm for the sixth. The producers loved the darker direction that he was taking the series in and wanted him to continue with the next film. And so he did. You're a wizard, Harry. Production began in September of 2007 and went on for eight months. This ended up becoming the most expensive of all the Harry Potter films and one of the most expensive movies ever made, costing a whopping $250 million to produce. Released in July of 2009, The Half-Blood Prince became a massive hit both critically and at the worldwide box office. It also holds the distinction of being the only Potter film to be nominated for Best Cinematography at the Academy Awards. At one point it was the 8th highest grossing film of all time and was the 2nd highest grossing film of 2009, only behind James Cameron's Avatar, which as of the release of this episode is still the highest grossing movie of all time. But what did we think of this movie? Joining us for this episode is friend of the pod, writer, producer, and director, Ashley Chrisman. So join Colin Harris and I as we gasp at the major plot developments of the sixth Harry Potter film. We watch the 2009 magical family classic, David Yates' Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This is a show about franchises, wizarding movie franchises. You're listening to License to Watch. Wizard. Why in the world was this movie made? have not seen any of these movies is that are you jumping in for the just watching this i've only seen the first one and i was a child when that came so you out. jumped straight from seeing the first one years ago to seeing this correct yes your take will be very interesting to yeah. me because Enjoy. Enjoy because it. i can barely follow these movies and i've been watching them every week for the last month and a half uh and i am now somewhat familiar with the story i picked this because i'd never seen any of them and i was kind of excited and then I'm watching them, and they're not bad. They're good movies, but it is fucking weird. There's a lot of shit. <laughs> so, and lot. as I'm watching this, I'm thinking about you and being like, wait, she's going to start watching. None of this is going to make any fucking sense. So before we go any further, let's talk. Let's say uh, welcome to the show. Uh, we are talking about Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, otherwise known as Harry Potter and the Incredibly Yellow Tinted Movie. <laughs> Harry uh, Potter and Snape. Ah, give it away. Spoiler alert, guys. Oh, wow. Snape is a half blood friend. So early. <laughs> and like, the, you didn't even like. Yeah, I know. I didn't know, even. I just stuck it in. Didn't, didn't even, even decorate uh, yeah, that. You no. just really just said it. Yep. Um, our guest for this episode is friend of the pod, um, uh, producer extraordinaire. Uh, what what else? Uh, writer, director. I have to tell you something. I'm a retired producer. Okay. Extraordinaire. Okay. And Still extraordinaire in whatever <laughs> you do. <laughs> Writer director extraordinaire. Okay. Great. Yeah, great. That's it. Writer director Ashley Chrisman. Thank you for coming out to do this and this and watch this movie that you've never seen before. <laughs> Unlike all of our other guests who were like Harry Potter fans and had seen the movies. Well, for the I most should part, right? say that one of the reasons I wanted Ashley to do this series in particular, she could have waited for our next series, whatever it is. And I said, no, you have to do this because we need the perspective of someone who is not an uber Harry Potter nerd. And we just kind of we're, we're viewing these things as movies and we're not viewing them as uh, like books or, the, you know, we, I guess we are watching it as as a whole a series as a whole but you know i wanted someone who kind of had a a, a different perspective what's up no i i want to talk about this yeah this i do too <laughs> this is the first time I the guest has ever paused I, the movie I also, I also like i have another spoiler because like 
Here's what I think about this scene. I'm totally okay with Dumbledore dying because he <laughs> he, 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 he cock blocked him here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a huge, massive cock block at the beginning of this movie. It's one of the biggest cinematic cock blocks in history. Yep. Absolutely. This is. Is that what you were going right. to say? Yeah, let's jump, in. Say let's jump into it. I think we got. I didn't give you the the, the the info before we started. Okay, uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Don't jiggle the mic too much. Right. Oh, if you're going to turn your head, keep the mic with you. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is R-rated, so feel free to say whatever you want. If you end up saying something that you regret later on, just remember it and let us know later. Like if you confess to any murders, we can <laughs> cut that right oh, out. God. We can cut, cut it right out. Like you could talk smack about someone and then later on be like, don't leave that in the show. Yeah. You know? Got yeah. it. Great. Thank you. Yep. Um, and don't do a lot of like manhandling because I, I can oh, hear. No, no, it, yeah. it's fun. Just manhandle a little bit. Just finger the <laughs> mic slightly. If you're going <laughs> yeah, to if you're gonna just, adjust the mic, do it when you're not talking. Here's the thing. If you grab the base of the shaft of the mic <laughs> and the top <laughs> of the shaft of the mic and just with two hands, just sort of hold it very firmly. Too much head um, play. But don't, yeah, don't, don't just work one spot of the mic the entire time. <laughs> Thank you. Um, sorry, that was all inappropriate. Uh, but you have, you want to talk about the scene, so let's talk about the scene. I was just happy that she was black. You know what I was? Disappointed that they once again are like, oh, hey, who's some random extra that's only got a couple of lines? Yeah, make them black because we don't have any black people in this I was going to say this movie could also be called Harry Potter and the lack of black people. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) Harry Potter and the one black person with two lines. That could be the title of all of these movies. This is an ongoing thing in these movies, though. So wait, are we aware of the... There's a big controversy about this movie in particular... The um the girl that like really sweats Ron, she was in the earlier movies and she was not white. Really? Oh, yeah. they switched her to a. Yeah. Oh, they, wow. wow. I, yeah, I, I found the picture, but it's on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wait, who is she? Yeah, yeah. I'll Google it. Google you know what's funny? Her name is like Lavender Brown. I think yeah. the character's name. What? Well, which definitely sounds not white. <laughs> <laughs> I would th- lavender brown sounds like a um a black exploitation heroine <laughs> like <laughs> lavender brown crack of the case <laughs> oh my god um yeah that's funny because I really thought that actress was pretty good I was like oh for you know a lot of the young actresses are really bad and she kind of nailed that really obsessive freaky you know high school girlfriend role but also that's true, oh but bad she that they recast yeah like, bad that yeah. they recast <laughs> that's this is why they're this right. is them this is them throwing black people a bone like we're gonna recast the yeah yeah definitely they're like oh yes, Harry see. oh no yeah. are you serious yeah that's, wow wait let me yeah. see oh my gosh you have yes. to put this you have to put this picture when this podcast airs because oh I see yes Definitely. lavender yeah. brown she was in the like I I, I remember they refer her. to she her was, as lavender in well, that they, no because that's they her never character's have, name I know they, but like but how, have, how would you know that's not have, just like, a random extra they don't have names no, for a lot of those this, random characters this girl is credited as lavender brown oh, like okay. in the in the um like I a lot think, of the minor characters don't uh, have names that are spoken the but they're in the credits they're yeah the first two is not the first three she's like she appears a lot of those scenes where they're in the classroom. And like each each kid so, does something in the yeah. classroom, so you kind of see them. Hang you know, on. like, <laughs> are what? you telling me, yeah, that they recast Lavender Brown, but they left Ginny Weasley <laughs> intact the entire time? Yeah, terrible. Because Ginny Weasley has this same actress has been playing Ginny Weasley, and everyone's been all our guests come on and they're like, oh, Ginny Weasley, man, rough acting, rough acting. And I'm like, she had like two lines, she was fine. What is everyone making a big deal about? And then I watch this movie, and I'm like. Oh no! They only gave her like four more lines. Oh, but what about when they kiss? It's brutal. I was just, just about to say that when they kiss, like what is just happening? Absolutely, <laughs> I felt nothing. Just absolutely, Wait, we'll, we can leave that here if you want. Like, yeah. yes, please, let's yeah. leave it out of the movie. Wait, Have can I that? just say uh, Maya was watching it with me for that scene when they kissed, and then like she kind of backs up, um, Ginny, and then Harry looks up and she's gone. She like disappears uh. from the room, and Maya goes. Was she a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> no, she, yes, she, she was actually a display uh, mannequin came to life, <laughs> but did not actually emote any more than that. But um, yeah, um, the the train station woman is like really, really attractive, and Dumbledore really it, it's it's not appropriate. And he's, he's and I don't he's buy a, it though <laughs> because Harry's such a dork in this scene. Yeah, I don't know, it. W- know why she is interested. In him. Well, first of all, yes. Why is, would she be interested in him? First Second of all, of all he would blow it. Like dorks all the time. <laughs> yeah. Dorks are the best people to date. Hold on, you guys have never done the move where you print your own newspaper that has the headline of your own oh, name. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that Harry Potter? 
water guy. Oh, he's a tosser. A real tosser. You have he's your kind of a cat, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's She's like, I wish he would toss me. <laughs> he's got a giant schlong. That's what the headline's about. Yeah. <laughs> It's about what a fantastic lay Harry Potter is. Harry Potter, great this Harry Potter villain. guy. Who's this Harry Potter extra. guy with this giant schlong that they've been talking about? This just he just goes from coffee shop to coffee shop yeah. with the newspaper. What like that? he just holds it unnaturally high. Oh, he should like he should keep going with it. He should he should get a whole team of little newsies on the corner, like extra extra Harry Potter, big junk. <laughs> while, while we're on this topic, Harry Potter, we, Magnum <laughs> Schwanz. <laughs> you heard it here first. We yeah. should say this. The tone of this movie is horny. This is a very this horny, a horny movie. movie. Oh, yeah. It's a very yes. horny movie. It's yes. like young. I felt it. I was like, okay, this is like young people. Feeling and things. not like the gross, t- like there was like a gross puberty horniness in some of the other ones that was like hinted at. That was like not. Like Big Mouth? Mm, yeah, kind of like, but they never as explicit. Obviously. <laughs> uh, but like, there was this like you know gross, desperate, sweaty you know thirteen year old horniness that was not. This is like young love horny, which was uh, much more like acceptable to me. Yeah, the girls, especially in this movie, are are horny. They just yes. want either Harry or Ron, or Dumbledore. Maybe I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> and, Harry's, and Harry's got a lot on his mind, uh, and Ron is totally into it. He's like, "Bring on the ladies!" Well, Ron's mom does say that one thing, like about Dumbledore. She's like, "Oh, how do we how do we put up with him?" But he is the best. <laughs> oh <God>. uh, yeah, <laughs> she's she's like, "It's a shame he's gay." <laughs> I will say, Colin, watching this that. on your TV, it looks a lot better here than it. I like I haven't you know, on my TV it, it looked basically black and white. It no, is seriously and it, way it's get, better. It gets worse. Like the 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 end of the movie is more like yeah. is more. Disaggregated. I don't know. This, look, this looked like it looked on my TV, and I don't th- like yeah. Like like the the very last scenes are very monochromatic, almost like sepia tinged. Yeah. Um, it, they definitely strip the color out of it, but it's almost like they have color. It's just monochrome. Like this is a blue scene. You know, like it's always yeah. black and some other like highlight color. Didn't Schatz call this out? He said, like, wait till you guys get to uh, um, Half-Blood Prince because the, the color grade is terrible. Uh, I, I feel like I remember During the Schatz episode, <laughs> it was way too much Harry Potter trivia for me. But, uh, yeah, if you say so, I'll believe it. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I just, I, I, it makes me wonder if it's, like, the colorist... Like, what was the interaction between the colorist and the and the director? Like, and this who, is the who same was pushing director. it further and further, you know? This is the same director of the last movie and the next two, I think. Yeah. And I don't think the next two look like this. The last movie, this movie, and the next two, so that's four? Yeah. Your four math is correct. Why is he so rich? Four out of the 30? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it feels like we've been doing this forever. I um, need to understand why. They were looks jumping good. around between I like, directors I like for this all effect when, uh, what's his name, turns into a chair oh, or yeah, turns into a the, person a after being line. a chair. I, I like this actor doing this role. I think he did a pretty good job. Jim Broadbent is the actor we're talking about. Jim Broadbent. He's, he's really, like, towing the line between, like, creepy and nice, but... Um, yes, you know, he, he kind of nails he doesn't, this. He like, doesn't totally go over to into the creepiness and you know like like dumbledore knows that he's a star fucker i yeah. love that like sort of subtext that he's <laughs> yeah. like he does, he's, he's like... total and and because we've all because we went to usc and some of us have gone to other schools where maybe some notable alumnus were there and we've all had a professor who can't help but like be oh so and so works for the justice department now was one of my former students sat in that very chair you know it's like yeah. at usc it's just constantly like oh yeah well i remember when kugler was in our class you know like uh, okay guy you know yeah you're the one who gave him his his talent i get it got it but it's to- this is that professor they totally you know get that vibe from this guy yeah i thought i was the only one that picked up on that yeah. like, <laughs> he's like Thirsty. Yes. Thirsty. Yes. Oh, oh super. Yeah. That, like this is like besides all the sexual thirstiness in this movie, there's also this guy who's just like super thirsty for prestigious students. This movie's still following the formula of like Harry Potter has to see magic happen and be totally blown away, even though he's been practicing magic for years now. And like, he even <laughs> has a line in this where Dumbledore's like, uh, he, I forget what he says, but Harry's basically like. Yeah, I'm just kind of going with it at this point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's like always desensitized a little bit, but I still, every time something like this happens where they clean up this house, I expect him to, do, to break out the, I love magic. <laughs> and somebody just go, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, <laughs> like, I mentioned gonna... this before we started recording, but I'm like, most of this episode is going to be you guys explaining everything to me. Which is oh, great. Yeah, but this, I'm <laughs> curious, this was does planned. Dumbledore ask too much of Harry in every 
everywhere. No, um, Dumbledore surprisingly has never done a single fucking thing yeah. to help anybody in any of these movies. No, he's been but he says, this is the first movie where he does anything. He says, Harry, I must ask too much of you again. Yeah. Yeah, because I think it was like he's no, asking No, because he never does of, anything. But I, th- I think what he's referring to is he's, he's, he's asking too much of him when he, doesn't get, when he keeps him from getting laid. He's like, oh, I'm yep. sorry I cock-blocked you, and now i got to ask you to go on this field that trip is, to, yeah. to get a Horcrux. Uh, uh-huh. It's one of the... Like, he definitely... He asks a lot of Harry in this movie, but it's the first time Dumbledore does anything, and then he fucking dies. You know, it's yep. like... Oh, my gosh. Does he really die? I need to know. I don't know. I, I haven't you, seen the... You didn't finish the I haven't seen the this one? further no, movies. This one. He dies in this one. Yes, That's but but yeah, she but doesn't know if really but if, yeah, but oh, some magic back, brings right? him back or something. I'm with Ashley. I could don't tell me, but also I want to know. He comes back, right? He how can't many not. how many Harry Potters are there? I need There's to two know. more. There's one more book after this, but two more movies because they split the last book into two. Right? Okay, what is the Secrets of Dumbledore? That oh, that's is a prequel. Fantastic oh. Beasts, which is a whole nother yeah. se- like but it's prequel Harry Potter, series. Yeah? It's the it's world the of Harry Potter. It Harry takes place like, like 100 years before yeah. this. Yeah. Okay, so so wizards wizards can die. Yes. yes. Yep. Wow. Woo-hoo. Um hey, I got another question I don't want anyone to answer because I know the answer. Okay. I don't care how many times they try to fucking convince me. Snape is not a fucking bad guy. I do not believe it. He doesn't it. give oh, they, bad guy. They, they they have not like they have they've been trying from the day one to convince me that Snape's a bad guy. And this is probably the movie that's done it the best so far because they set up all these fucking kills Dumbledore. Spoiler alert, guys! Again, um, well they do, I, a, but I do not fucking believe it. They do a good job of the scene where I think we're about to see where the two evil like witch ladies yeah. uh, come to Dumbledore and they make him do the, the, Snape. the unbreakable. Snape. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the, the, come um, to Snape. Yeah. And they make him do the unbreakable yeah, vow like or the whatever. Double pinky swear magic. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. But you and could I, I, see in I his love that acting scene where he's, where he's just like, pick up your wand. <laughs> it's just pick like, just up your wand. Hey, can yeah. we talk about how smooth Dumbledore is in this scene? Because he knew if I leave, it's like when you're dating yeah. somebody, you're like, mm. if, if I leave, you're gonna want me even more. So yeah. That's what he just it's did. like the 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 used car salesman tactic of yeah. just just walk out. No, I'm I'm not interested in a car today. Oh, maybe I can. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's kind of how they play Dumbledore throughout this whole thing. That he's like an idiot and doesn't know what he's doing, or he's getting too old. But you come to learn that he is always a step ahead of everyone else, and he knows what he's doing, and he almost knows what's gonna happen. Yeah. It's, it's, well, it seems like for a guy who knows so much, though, he's constantly seems like he's being blindsided by things, and sometimes he. St- he kind of is, you know? I, or maybe he all had this all planned out. I don't fucking know. I don't know. He's, like, really old, gonna die soon anyways, but his strategy is, I know that Voldemort's gonna try to kill me. So, uh, he's gonna die either way. So, like, you know, there's not a lot I, of... <laughs> I, 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 I don't get it, and it's fine, whatever. I still don't believe that Snape is a bad guy. But also, oh, yeah, no. you know what I did like about this movie that is a change from all the other Harry Potter movies? Harry isn't... I mean, he's still like the slowest person who gets everything later than almost everyone else. <laughs> yeah. But he actually does some things that are like, oh, he did that well. Usually it's like Hermione is smarter and yeah. other people are braver and everyone else is saving his ass constantly. And in this movie, like he saves Ron when he gets poisoned by the mead and he figures it out and Jim Broadbent is like, oh, I don't know what happened. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to give him some shit and save him. Like he has moments in this where he actually, like he only does one super dumb thing where he chases Bellatrix out past the fire and the Weasleys get their house burned down as a direct result oh, of him yeah. being a fucking idiot. But other than that, he's like not totally grossly incompetent, which well, is the first time he's ever not been the biggest idiot in a movie. For the first time, I think in this movie, Hermione is like kind of losing her, her touch a little bit. And like, obviously she's upset that she's losing Ron, but also she's like kind of, she's, she doesn't have she's the book. falling behind. He, she doesn't have the, the book. book is a great. Yeah. It's a great. Okay. What yeah. book? The what? book of the half blood prince. You know the book that he has that so has all the like she handwritten. Have the book, so she's so she's the usually Harry the brain. Is, like yeah. in every movie, she's a step ahead of everyone oh, else. Okay. Yeah. So Straight A student, but but he basically has the teacher's has edition of a book. Yeah, and 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 of course he's acting like he's hot shit. Like you know the the, the prince of potions. What's his name's calling him? And believe me, every time Snape sees that, he's like. This fucking guy stole my fucking book, and now <laughs> he's, he's taking all, all the goddamn book. credit. And he's he's acting <laughs> like he's hot shit. Yeah, they don't even talk about it though. Like. Really? There's one scene where it's just the three of them, and, like, Hermione is definitely She getting, wants the book. Yeah, yeah. she's, like, she's I, like, let me look at the book. Yeah, I want to see that book. And he's like, no, he's it's like, a secret nah. book. No, it's just a regular book. Yeah. Yo, the whole movie, I was like, 
who is the half blood prince? Who yeah. is it? Who is it? But it makes no sense when he finally reveals it at the end. It's like, yeah, I'm the half blood prince. Okay. Why? What does that mean? What does that yeah. mean? <laughs> who, half, prince of what? About? Half I, blood? Yeah. What? I also think it's like Harry. Harry has the book of the half blood prince, and he reads that it's the ha- the book of the half blood prince, and he's like, "Oh, this book's got all the answers," and he just starts using it, and he's loving it. And they're like, "Shouldn't we figure out who the half blood prince is?" And Harry's like, "That's not really a concern to me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this book's got like nasty ass killer spells, and I am the star of the class." And I have that, to tell that sounds you. like a question that the book doesn't have an answer to. <laughs> I was a little disappointed because I was like, "It's a missed opportunity for like a mixed race." I, oh. well, you know? yeah, I mean, what what, what, wait, well, wait, what? Here's a Harry Potter fact: mixed race means something totally different in this world. Oh, yeah. like the, the muggles. That's yeah, what the, that, that the big thing like is. Like a really bad word. And and I it don't is. Like it. Yeah. it is. Yeah. We try not to use it on the podcast. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> necessary. We, yeah, that's. I mean, I, unless you are one, and then you can say it. I guess. But, <laughs> wait, but, what? But it's like human, right? It's, yeah, yeah, they're, they're okay. like it's like normal person, people. Uh, like somebody who isn't full witch, because there's, there's another, people who are 100% wizards and witches. We also learned from our like Harry Potter expert guests that there's another word for if like if, if they your say whole, it in this movie, if your whole family is magical and then you're not magical, there's like another word Squib. for that. Squib. Squib. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. how can you not be magical if your whole family is magical? You uh, didn't inherit the you magic. Have bad gene. blood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You didn't inherit the magic gene. And if you're yeah. half and half, then you're a muggle. Oh, I think that's terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, there's the a lot wizarding of, world is a terrible, and all terrible of the, place. Oh, it is. And all these people, these are the Death Eaters. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, they're, they're like, like bad. They, they're basically yeah. like Klansmen. They're mm-hmm. like super yeah. racist. They don't want to mixing. They don't like muggles. They're, that's um, what they're, they're all. They're, they're eugenics. All pure, they're into eugenics. Yeah, they're, no, they're into, I mean. <laughs> they're into pure blood wizards. Let, okay. We can. It's weird when you mix race into it. So let's not. Yeah, I'm well, like, this is kind of an this allegory. Is like the race, this is like, race it can't be. It can't be because they're all white people. That's right. So That's like, why it's true, wrong. True, true. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. I mean, it's it's an analogy, is what it is. An analogy? How? Like an analogy would be really great. This this world. Okay, let me tell you the reason why I never watched after the first epi- the first episode, first Harry Potter was because it was so white, and yeah. I'm like, super white. Listen. If you want to talk about witchcraft and wizardry, look at Africa, right? And yeah. so we said that in one of the later movies because they, there are they hints that there are African that wizards, and I'm like, that's the any. movie I want to see. Later, yeah. yes. when what up? What there, what there were there were movies. They went to they're the, like background characters. They went they're to like the Quidditch World, World Cup. How ghetto is that? The, like the yeah. Quidditch World Cup. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but like there should be a spinoff that's like, hey, here's the African Harry Potter. Yeah, but it should have been the first. Okay, but my point is, it's just like it's hard to. To watch because I'm like I don't see myself in this anywhere. Oh sure. Do you so, guys? Do you why? guys remember what country they said won the Quidditch World Cup? Wasn't it like Ireland or something? <laughs> like, yeah, it was Ireland. Yeah. Ireland beat <laughs> Ireland, oh Ireland beat Romania. Don't get me started yeah. well, Quidditch. Ireland well, versus Romania. Well, here's the yeah, thing. The fuck? I I get that. I don't like. There's no reason for you to watch. There's no reason for any of us to watch this movie. But definitely, like, if I, you know, I can understand like not seeing yourself represented on screen, especially when they have opportunities to do it and they kind of blow it. Um, but I will say. That the analogy, the reason I think the analogy kind of does work is because there are people who, you know, especially like with anti-Semitism or with a lot of like racism now with like, you know, mixed race people that aren't 100% one thing or another or might not look like what they are. There are people who like really internalize, well, if you had something in your ancestry that's this, then you are, then you have this like mixed mixing of the races or whatever that may not be like totally visible, but actually is something that some people will hold against other people. And this is kind of like, it's not like a visible thing, but it is something that they sort of in this world have this, you know, like obviously it's, it's all about like, are you magic or not? Which is kind of absurd, but it has nothing to do with what you look like, but there's these, you know, this group of people who just hate people for something that doesn't have to do with how good a wizard you are, doesn't have anything to do with that, just has to do with, like, who your parents yeah. are. And if you have any any kind of non-wizard blood in your history, you're unclean in their eyes, you So know? it's very, like, for white people. Right? So it's like, <laughs> if white people don't like you for because you don't have magic, then it's like, that's the, the secret is. That's, right. that's how, how other races feel. 
Right. Exa- that, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yes. It's written by a white person and made by a bunch of white people, but it's a white person take on, uh, you know, uh, like yeah. miscegenation and, you know, uh, Ashley's like, this is not how I thought this nerd podcast was going to go. <laughs> I'm going to turn it. I'm going to steer the wheel. Listen, we're, oh, yeah. we're going to go talk for about it. Else. Go for it. We've extended all the talking that we can do about random wizard shit. Can so we, we talk definitely... about gingers? We can talk about gingers because there's a ton of them. Matt loves talking about gingers. I heard you're not supposed to say that word. I heard you're not? Oh, is that a slur now? Yeah. What am I, I supposed to call a ginger then? I don't know, but I think gingers are really hot and what? I'm into it. I am, you know, I will back you up on that. My high school girlfriend was a redhead. I have always been a fan. I don't know what the animosity, apparently in, in England, it's they like, say it's like real no fucking soul. scandalous. Yeah. I mean, that's like a joke, but I think some people believe it. I think so too. I think I mean, their hatred for gingers in the UK is a lot stronger. Like here, it's less a hatred and more a. Huh. Obviously, like, <laughs> obviously, Ginny Weasley has no soul because you can oh see in her eyes the soullessness. Yes. But I mean, that's not because she's a ginger. <laughs> that's <obviously>. just <laughs> that's just because she's a mannequin come to life oh. through a witch's curse. She just gives me like dyed ginger. Like I don't think that she's like. I mean, okay, yes, yeah, she's probably natural, but like. She doesn't feel. They cast her when she was a little girl, and they they stuck with it. They did not recast her, despite the fact that they've recast other people. Well, and they decided to roll with her, despite it being very obvious in this movie for the first time that she is not an actress. I was reading some of the trivia about this movie before I came here, and it said that uh, both Daniel Radcliffe and all three of them, actually, the three leads, were considering not coming back. They they had to like up their contracts, I guess. Oh. Could you imagine if at this point they decided not to come back <laughs> and, and they recast them? Over. <laughs> Super confusing. <laughs> or just recast one of them and two of them came back and be confusing. so weird. But why would they do that? They making they are so rich. They are so. That's probably rich. why they came back too. I would just keep doing it. I don't care. I'm yep. just like. Hmm. But on by the same token, if you're them and you know that you can't be recast, and you know that you, and you know that these movies are making hundreds of millions of dollars. And I don't know what they're getting paid. I bet you. But I mean, I feel like you could be like, hey, by the way, thinking of not doing anymore. The decision to split the last book into two movies, I'm sure was a last minute change. And they had to renegotiate for that extra movie that they had to do. Unless they shot yeah. it as one movie. Yeah. And they cut it as two. No, because I think, I they, don't all, think, they, I think they announced before they even did the first one. I think they announced that they were doing it as two. I so. can bet you that they made more money on the last movie yeah. than they did on any Wait, of the rest. Are all of these movies two and a half hours? Because Just what? About. Yeah, yeah. Some of them are. Yeah. What was the shortest one? Like the, uh, like 159 or something. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, there yeah. was one that was two hours. Yeah. yeah, they're all two and a half, just yeah. about. But why? Like, what am I watching? Have you seen the books? They're, they're, like they're like this thick. thick. It's like War and Peace. Wait, yeah. you know how to put it. You, you know this. Like, you don't have to put everything that's in the book. In the well, movie. no. According <laughs> to every guest we've ever had, they leave <laughs> yeah, yeah, tons of stuff to, out. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Goodness. All the. All the. All the like. The hardcore fans of the books are expecting like, and are furious that they cut yeah. so much out. They need Th- like they're eight like, hours. I wanted movies. a four they and a half a hour show. version of every one of these. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Just going back real quick. I just remembered in the last movie they did introduce a black character. What is that? What is oh, that? It's like a Furby. <laughs> what is that on her shoulder? It's something to make Ginny Weasley seem like she's alive. Who is <laughs> <laughs> this girl? Because she's kind of like oh Luna Lovelace. She's great. She should be more of a character, but they introduced yeah, her in the last movie. She's yeah, she's like a real weirdo. Dudes, but like, not you know. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. But wait, she's, wait. They introduced a black character in the last in the movie when they introduced the Order of the Phoenix people, right? Remember him? Oh yeah, yeah. The guy. And who then was, they show them in this movie, and he's not there. Well, they only show the two. They show the wolf guy and, and this the girl. girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And they show Lup- Lupin. Is that his but name? But they don't show. Yeah, that's the wolf guy. Oh well, yeah, there's him, the him, him. Oh yeah, and, and his girlfriend. But they don't show the, the uh, they don't show the guy. With, they don't show, show Mad Eye Mooney. Oh yeah, oh, the, the guy with the hat. Like, it's yeah, not, yeah. It's not all. He's the, not in this one, is he? No, he's no. Not. It's not the they, absolute fuck is that? They don't. Well, they don't. They don't. They don't need the whole team there. They just have a couple of representatives. Representatives of the team. There. I disagree. Well, <laughs> well, they didn't want to shell out the extra bucks for Brendan Gleeson, and they were like, you I, know what? As long as we're not, I disagree with that. Yeah, well, I disagree with Brendan Gleeson not being in this movie too, but. You know, you can't expect them to have. Wait, where where are the wolf people? Because I'm. 
I mean, uh, I watched the movie, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. There's a guy up. that's a werewolf, but they don't say anything about it in this they, movie, they except say, they do say they, his condition is very hard. Do you remember him. when they were like oh. saying that it's like almost a full moon and yeah. he's getting uh, edgy uh-huh. and they might yeah, have to yeah, leave? Yeah. It was like just before Harry runs out of the fire and chases Bellatrix into the field or whatever. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, which would be like baffling if you weren't familiar with this. Also, uh, there's uh, there's twin uh, Indian girls. We didn't get to see them. Yep. This time. I just yeah, saw they, two twins walk past us. And they, they were, were white girls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they recast the two. The, and the, Cho they recast Chang. the Patel twins as well. Oh, yeah. Cho Chang's gone. And But there is another Asian girl, but I didn't know oh, who I she... Oh, I thought that was... It was I thought it was her, too. And then I realized it's no? not the same actress. And no. I was like, wait, did they recast her? Maybe it was her? supposed to be her, but they um, were just they like... Gave, she only had two lines. They so gave they were, him a goon that is uh, like not a white person. Okay, and where's where's his two usual goons? Maybe Draco this is the movie. One of them's on such... the right over here. There they are. They're both there. Oh yeah, yeah you're right. Oh, they're, they're both, both there. there. That guy isn't in jail yet, Matt. Yeah. You keep on telling me every movie. You keep on telling me one of these motherfuckers is going to end up in jail. Yeah, this he's guy there. usually has two goons that aren't the two goons that he's talking to. His name is Draco. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like he's like you know. Well, they had to int- they had to introduce a, <laughs> a, a girl Slytherin character because this movie's all about like pairing them up, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's got to be because the the whole thing is all the girls at this point in their education want the love potion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, oh my god, how stupid! Girls want more than love. We want money. <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> very good. Which is why they want Harry Potter. He's got money. Also, money doesn't really seem to matter very much in the Wizarding World. Like, that's true. It's the size of your wand. Um, yeah. Oh, question. Oh, size of your wand. Question. Harry Potter uses this like blackout bomb, dishes his friends for this long ass train ride in the middle of the long ass train. They don't even bother looking for him. He just like yep. he's like, I'm going to the can and then <laughs> disappears for like hours. And they're like, Wow. And, Hope he's not dead. And then he well, hides he go. hides in Darko's fucking Darko. luggage rack. He hides in Darko's luggage rack to spy Draco. on him. Darko Darko Darko. Darko. I like and, Darko better. Darko I like Darko village. way better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he and then, like, and how come Darko is the only guy who's ever been able to see through this invisibility cloak? Yeah, how does he know? He, he saw it suitcase. wiggle. It, it, like, it, this it is moved. creepy stalker behavior. And also, also, he pulls a cloak off him. If I'm Darko, I'm keeping that fucking cloak. I'm like, I just won this by kicking your ass. That's true. Oh, yeah, that's a huge mistake. Well, they're also I... building in this movie that Darko, if you will, <laughs> uh, is smart. And he's, like, becoming a villain. They're and making it, him kind yeah. of a badass, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm kind of into it, although he's getting a little bony and weird looking, but you know, whatever. But by the it end, works. it kind of changes. Yeah. 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 He gives me, <laughs> did you guys watch, uh, what's that What's that show that was out? Uh, um, I've never seen Sopranos. a show. I don't know what, <laughs> yeah. Um, so many of them. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, uh, welcome back, Cotter. No. <laughs> um, 60 Sam minutes. Welcome back, Cotter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a show that was out, Colin. Get that reference. <laughs> it's from the 70s. <laughs> what the oh, hell? I have to look it up. The white then, shadow. Sorry, my sentence over. Uh, I'm going to help you edit. Taxi. You edit, yeah? Taxi. We're not editing this. <laughs> it's all sticking there. Why, why I'm just guessing every why TV were you show. Newhart. Was it Newhart? No, <laughs> Newhart was an 80s show. Okay, fine. Uh, um, Newhart was good. Yeah, this is the image of her that I remember. Like in the last movie, I was disappointed that she wasn't wearing these goofy glasses i i just thought she was the goofy mm. glasses girl mm-hmm. oh i it, feel like you're kind of reducing her at that point like she's there's more than just like goofy glasses they keep on character. ended up together too and if jenny weasley wasn't throwing herself all over him i would have thought that they were going to be the they uh, have the no item. chemistry I, I know that does i know that doesn't <laughs> matter because jenny weasley has no jenny ke- weasley chemistry could, with anyone well jenny weasley like for a, with a cardboard cutout of harry potter she might actually have a little spark there it might be like oh look they're kind of they're they're uh, I some, doubt simpatico that. there the show th- was lovecraft country Oh. oh yeah, yeah, like like super white. <laughs> yeah, blonde yeah, hair. Yeah, blonde he hair, was giving yeah. me that vibe. Very good. Yes, I yes. He's I don't got know. a Lovecraft country vibe. I, the only Lovecraft country uh, actor I know is the the Kang the Conqueror guy, Jonathan Majors. Majors. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the girl, um, who's the girl on that show? Johnny Smollett. Is it her? Yeah. Oh, I never watched them. Wait, show. is she I just related saw the to? Trailer. You never watched. You never the watched show. Lovecraft. Mm-hmm. I never watched. It was one and done season, right? Yeah. But yeah. They it thought good. it was supposed to go on, but it got canceled. Is that right? It was a good first season. I heard it was cool, and I'm sure yeah, I would like cool. it. Matt told me he wouldn't watch it, and then he like 
He like did this with his belt, and he said, "Love Lovecraft country ain't no country of mine." And I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Hell, you do a really good impression of him. You really captured. You really, you really got my southern really, twang. Yeah, you nail it. But southern Long Island's I twang. Don't know. <laughs> I just think like from like growing up, like since I was a little kid, like one of the funniest things ever is when someone goes ain't no country of mine when they're talking about country music. i love your little like <laughs> <laughs> you have to like hold your belt and like move your shoulders like that wait can i ask where are you from i'm from texas oh my god <laughs> i know yeah. it's a really uh that's unfortunate a lot of people are moving there here right like it's a big like place like yeah. people love texas right now right yeah and everything's like, bigger there cost of living is lower and you don't mess with it no, yeah, you can't mess with it. Who the fuck? Never mind. I'm not even gonna. Go no, I'm kidding. It's a horrible place. We're we have so much watch. time. We're in make believe land with Jimmy. I, I won't be offended if you say like negative things about Texas. You will okay. or you won't? I won't. I won't. Wait, are you giving her permission to mess with Texas? <laughs> yeah. right, right. In violation of every t shirt uh, I've ever uh, seen. <laughs> Uh, th- th- there's not like going to be like a big like mean like anthropomorphized armadillo that like kicks down the door and like comes in here. Oh, but it would be cool if every time somebody messes with Texas, a giant m- armadillo mascot just busts they- j- bust through the wall like the Kool Aid Man. Like all the drinks just, like, just start like uh, vibrating like in Jurassic Park. You're like, oh no. That's actually what they tell children is what's yeah. going to happen. <laughs> He's just like, remember the Alamo. <laughs> remember the armadillo. <laughs> and then he rolls out. Like, he yeah, rolls into he a rolls ball into and he rolls out. Slams yeah. through your wall. That's yeah. great. Can we make this happen? Is there any way to make this happen? There's nice places in Texas. Have you ever been to Texas, Ashley? I have not. I'm going for the first time in August. Where are you going? Oh, it's hot there then. Where are you going? Houston. Oh, you're going to Oh, it's sweat. really it's hot, hot there. there then. I know. My friend was like, in May, it was like 100 degrees. And I'm like, yeah, I'm it's, it'll Texas. be hot as balls. And it's Houston's humid. cool. Austin's really fun. I love I San. I live in San Antonio. San Antonio is really cool. Dallas is kind of kind of okay. I'm from Dallas. I'm not a big fan of Dallas, <laughs> yeah. but like Austin is like, I don't know. Austin's great. Austin's I, I lived like there hipster, for a little. Yeah. yeah, Austin's like crazy. Cool. I want to be with uh, the yeah. hipsters. Yeah, that's, yeah. All that's a cool joint. Do. Yeah, like, but it's all like Austin Film Festival or August, South by Southwest. Yeah. In August, it's, it's, it's going to be hot and humid. It's yeah. technically Mexico. It's, it's not technically. It's, it's technically not, not Mexico, but yeah, but it might as well be. It's it's very similar. Yeah. Okay. In, oh, in terms oh of my climate. gosh, that's that guy. That's a uh, the R- guy that was in uh, Ron Weasley. How to get away with murder? Oh, we went back way too far. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you're making this. No, you're just making this movie far. longer. Which guy? That guy. That guy. The black guy. <laughs> oh, the only characters I pay attention to. <laughs> Not only, but I'm just saying, you know. Hmm. Primary. There's like at most three black people. So like you're yeah, not a, him. You don't know him. That guy. I don't yeah. Know him. He co- maybe is he later? Later in the. I don't know. Series. He hasn't in had this? a line of dialogue yet. No, he not in this episode. No, in this <laughs> he's in in Harry Potter in the in the episode. Wizarding World. That guy's like an extra. <gasps> yeah. Really? Did he go on to what is he in? He's in How to Get Away with Murder. Oh. He's like a star now. Wow, it's possible. That's awesome. Yeah. Is he is he British? Yes. You know. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Good for him. I don't think. Do you have a line in this? <laughs> no, no, not one. Oh. Not no way. One. Well, I like this owl too. Like I want start this somewhere. I want a podium like that. It's kind of cool. I really like his. Oh, hair. look at sad Darko. Harris, you complimented my hair when I. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna go Draco next. Gonna oh go yeah. yeah. That would, that would look yeah. Hot. yeah that'd I think be I'm good. gonna do that that'd for the good. summer. Oh, I just would hate to like have to maintain the roots. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Wait, look, there's but if you're red. committed oh, to it, so many that's heads. a really red so head. many gingers. Yeah. Oh, these are like all the uh, the freshmen, right? Yeah, the the fresh meat. Kids. They're laughing at the new kids. They're like, oh, look at all these newbies. Ronald He's Weasley just... has gotten more and more attractive each whatever. And he is he maintains his title as the best actor of the three main Harry Potter kids. Oh my gosh! Although, Can I tell you? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh wait, no. I was just gonna say I saw. Him, Harry Potter, in a play in London, and I was like, "Was it Equus?" Oh my god! <laughs> was that what? the show? Because that was cool. Because that was the you only play his, that we know that he did in London. Uh, and, you see his wand it, in that his, one, his, yeah, right? Didn't he have to have his wang out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> full, full oh, front of <laughs> oh wait! So wait, this is a good. You have an interesting perspective. Um, tell us all about Harry the, Potter's wang. Yeah, the interesting <laughs> perspective. Uh, you know is, what? 
<laughs> I don't think I'm the best person to tell you because it's forgettable. Oh, like, I'm no. not like, oh my gosh. I you couldn't even not compare impress it to like other. Penises. I couldn't. I don't. It was so long ago that I'm just like, I mm. mean, it happened. I mean, if you see one flaccid penis, you kind of seen most of them. <laughs> There's not that much difference. Quite a I was in the pool. <laughs> I'm a grower. <laughs> That's what um, they all say. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You know what? I I will say that we got a little taste of because we did we we watched Swiss Army Man as one of our bonus movies, which yeah. Daniel Radcliffe plays There's a, a ton of his corpse uh, butt in. crack in that. Yeah, yeah, we see a lot of butt crack there, but yeah. he plays a, a a gassy corpse, and he's good in that as a gassy corpse. He really nails it. I gassy. Th- yes, he's farting the entire movie. There's a lot of fart jokes yeah. in, in Swiss Army Man. Um. Anyways, I recommend it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, me and Matt liked it. Colin did not, which uh, would, uh, baffled us. Um, <laughs> and you can check out our Patreon account to s- listen to that entire episode. Yes, um, yes. for a dollar a month. <laughs> but I did get a little taste of that. Like, you know how we were talking earlier about how Daniel Radcliffe, as he grew out of these movies and moved on to other stuff, started taking on, like, weirder roles and more ambitious things. And I will say one thing I loved was Harry Potter high on luck potion. And he's just like, oh, man, I'm good. just rolling with it. You know, it's yeah. like. Yeah, just, I was going to say he's actually pretty good in this and he, movie. And he's like, talks about like the tarantulas. He's like, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, there's a lot of, they're misunderstood creatures. And he's like, yeah, because of the fangs. He starts doing a little thing like. Yeah. And I was like, was what a weird choice. And kind of when he starts making weird choices and acts like himself and stops acting like Harry Potter and starts like just letting, like letting loose a little bit. I actually was like, okay, I can see how maybe he's. He's not a terrible actor. He's just constrained by the necessities of this role to maintain the Harry Potter kind of wholesome boringness. Wait, so you think he's a terrible actor based on Harry Potter? In the early ones, oh my God. he's very bad. Yeah, he's up till yes. now. Really? He's like him and Emma Watson are competing for who could be the worst child actor in these movies. I, they've Every gotten movie. a lot better. It's and clear, he was winning a lot of those contests about who could be worse. It's clear that they've taken like classes or something between movies or they just have on set like... Uh, or they're, you know, they're just more yeah, mature. They improve. I mean, they're yeah. getting older. Yeah, that, that helps. Their but brains are growing. W- Rupert Grint was good pretty much from the beginning. He was like, oh, here's a pretty yeah. good child actor. Yeah, he was good. He was the best. I I really like the whole sequence of um, Rupert Grint, uh, Ron Weasley getting really good at, at Quidditch. Yeah. And like <laughs> yeah. just becoming a legend somehow. Did that happen already? <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're yet to see it. Yeah. I, I do think it's a huge missed opportunity to turn uh, the Lavender character into uh, a, like a white girl. But she ultimately, like, they ultimately make her look, her character look really stupid in this. Um, she, she gets, like, really humiliated by the time that she's, like, really fallen for Ron. And Ron is, like, passed out hallucinating Hermione or whatever. You yeah. Know? If they, they set her up for it a little bit because they make her, like, totally overbearing and smothering. Yeah. And, like, they make it kind of cartoonishly comical. I don't think they and had I to think, make her look that bad. Is yeah, that, I but I think I'm that's saying. how they were, like, we're going to make her so, like, obsessed and so over the top that we'll kind of cheer for, for her because we want Hermione and Ron to get together. Yeah. So it's like, by that time, we're like, okay, he's going to ditch the crazy girlfriend. And it's not his fault because he did it when he was unconscious. But, but yeah, she does. She get, does so get totally clowned. They made yeah. It, yeah, they made her look. They humiliate her so much. It's like I guess that's. It's a, it's kind of like you know they're yeah. all high school kids. Or I thought that actress did a really nice job though. I know I said that already. I thought she did a really nice job of being like obsessed and like just playing f- f- like comedic. Lee, that whole role. I like Emma's hair in the <laughs> scene where uh, they're making the death potion. I will say that it mm. gets it gets bigger and bigger. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. as if there's some kind of like crazy humidity coming off the death liquid which makes sense merlin's beard oh this is my favorite line in the whole movie every time he keeps saying merlin's beard yeah, yeah. i love that he says merlin he says merlin's beard in like at least half the scene yeah he, he says it every <laughs> yeah. time he's on screen i'm yeah. like i'm into this i'm yeah. just gonna keep this guy's it. yeah this guy's performance may be the best of the whole film i'd say harry houdini's chester <laughs> Yeah, who is the MVP of this movie? This guy. It's got to be him, right? All right. Because right. Snape is not getting enough scenes. Snape mm. yeah, I know. is You're usually right. in the running for MVP of the movie. Oh, I, I need you guys to explain uh, Draco to me because... His family is, like, deep into the, like, hatred of non-magical people. And, like, they, they have an expectation oh. of him. They have an expectation of him to, like, be, 
like really into being pure blood and to like be really powerful and, and to be like really rich bad and, and yeah. mean and do evil, evil things. Like yeah. His yeah. family is evil. His family's yeah. evil. His dad is like the the one of the higher ups of the evil yeah. underlings. His dad is really into Voldemort. Voldemort. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so like and and everyone knows this. It's out. Yeah, that his dad is like one of Voldemort's best. He's buddies. in jail. Oh. He's in yeah, yeah, Azkaban he's, right yeah, now because yeah, exactly. in the last movie he was. Bad and he got yeah. caught. Harry Potter yeah. and the Prisoner yeah. of Azkaban. That was not the last one. The last uh, one was the Order of the Phoenix. Yes. Oh, it was. The, yeah. He said that. He said it in the yeah. movie. Yeah. And then uh, there was in between there. There was the Order of the Dominoes, <laughs> and then I think, <laughs> <laughs> and then the Order of the Pepto Bismol. <laughs> there goes our Domino sponsorship. I blew it. <laughs> Damn I it. Blew it. Damn it. Uh, oh, um, fuck. I like these flashback scenes with young Tom Riddle. Yeah, okay. you, can, you can tell it's evil. What is happening? This what? is Voldemort. That's Voldemort. This is the yeah, B- but who? I mean, I don't remember him. <laughs> yeah, but we don't have... That's because he's not in any... Well, he is sort of... He is sort of on the back of that guy's head in the first movie. <laughs> yeah, the turban yeah. guy. Yeah, I couldn't even guy. tell you yeah. so the what big, happened in the The big movie. bad guy in this is played by Ray Fiennes. Yeah, and he, he has, has like, like no this nose. half snake man. He has no nose. Yeah. yeah. He's in a lot of the other that's movies. He isn't in this one. But this is like that's this this guy. We're getting his, a little bit what of his backstory. What happens to his nose? Like, I, how does he go from this? We little don't cute know. Kid? I hope that's revealed in the later movie. But it seems like it's uh, it's, it's not directly I, stated. But it's that he died, and to come back, he had to like have a snake body or something to come back through or whatever. Interesting. I thought it was just that he's like so evil that he's like just inhabiting like a serpent. Teen, like quality. Oh, he's just like know? slowly morphing into one. Yeah, I I thought he was just like waiting for the nose to grow back. Like he'll get there eventually. The noses <laughs> take longer. I was under the impression because um his his pet snake is one of the Horcruxes, and the Horcruxes are what allow his like him to like not be totally mortal mm-hmm. or whatever. So I was which we learned in this that, movie. Like, we learned in this movie. What I didn't learn get, about the snake. Where, where Spoiler alert, Colin. Yeah, I was like, where's the damn snake at? Yeah, the uh, whole next movie is we, all about we, the Horcruxes. We find, yeah, yeah, yeah. We find out about Horcruxes in general in this movie. Yes. But we don't find out that the snake is a Horcrux until next movie. Which... So basically, Ashley, the only two movies yeah. you've seen, the first one that you saw as a young person and this one that you saw now, are like the only two movies that we really don't see Voldemort in at yeah. all. Like That's in any true. form, really. You're missing. Wow. You, you, you're missing Ray Fiennes in like one of one of his finest performances. I, you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to Get say. That. Great, great. Yeah, I I I love him as Voldemort. I love that he like he just like dances around like a silly man, but he makes it evil and scary somehow. Oh, he's holding his wand like he's like <laughs> yeah. slightly spastic yeah. and like t- two random fingers. Like he's not like he's not willing to grip it that yeah, hard. Like, Voldemort out of context is like, you're a silly man, aren't you? <laughs> out of context. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's not scary at all. If you, yeah. <laughs> if you just sort of like watch him prancing around. Wait. Um, but that scene we just saw, there's a really great meme from that because uh, Jude law plays Dumbledore in the prequels. Right. And apparently, like, the last time we see Jude Law in those movies is only, like, 10 years away from that flashback or something like that. And he's like, what happened over these 10 years <laughs> that turned Jude Law into this old dude? <laughs> yeah, especially when you Wait, consider... So Jude Law plays young... Yeah. Young Dumbledore. Yeah. Okay. Youngledore. Double. Youngledore. Yeah. Double yeah. <laughs> what did I say? Especially when you consider they, they live for 100 and some odd years, you wouldn't think a decade of <laughs> yeah, time just passing. Like, what happened it. in those yeah. 10 years? There's they make a, a joke that. about yeah. that in this. They're like, how old is Dumbledore? And they're like, I don't know, at least 150. And they all start laughing. I thought one of them was going to be like, these movies are stupid, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is this? What is this? That's apparating. That's how you can like travel. As no, a, no, no, no. Those are... Uh, Oh, those are Dementors? Demi- no. Yeah. I thought those are Death Eaters in the apparating form. Oh, trying, trying to, get, to in. get in? I yeah. thought those are def- Death Eaters apparating too, although whenever you see a main character apparate, it's like instantaneous. So are they just cutting out the part? By the way, no, I just... I, 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 I have to concept me- of time. When you're in the apparating, your concept of time... I have to work. mention that apparating and the stupid cabinet that, that Darko's messing with, we've got two other forms of transportation. So now we have like 18 different ways for wizards to get from point A to point B. But to get to the school, you take the train. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. These fucking movies. I swear to God. I was going to bring this up earlier that Harris's theory is that every movie has to introduce a new form of transportation to like and keep it, it exciting. There's yeah, it two does. In this. Yeah, There's it really two does. in this. There's like there's only eight movies, and I think there's like about twelve forms of transportation. Yes. You can like Absurd. jump into a fireplace, and it'll transport you to another place. And they usually yeah, only use it the one time. You could touch a boot, 
and yeah. it <laughs> magically transports you to some place. The boot, like, what, there's a name for what the boot is. A, the, a hex key or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Magic like flying that. cars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rooms, obviously. Rooms, yep. Uh, yeah, it's it's really something. Uh, yeah. It's like this movie brought back a lot of things that the other movies kind of rectified. It's like, as things that suck. And in this movie was like, yeah, let's just bring it all back. Like, uh, what's this called? Uh, uh, Quidditch. Quidditch. Yeah, let's have a huge I, twenty I minutes. I like the Quidditch scene. uniforms in this. I think the Quidditch is like not as boring in this at all because it's a part of the whole Ron storyline. I like because it's like a montage. Yeah. They montage the Quidditch. Yeah. They, they're not gonna. We don't see an entire fucking but game, it was which like, is exhausting. It's like a thirty minute Quidditch game. Okay, it good. All right, so you haven't actually seen a movie with a real Quidditch match, which is easily feels like the entire fucking movie. I'm oh like, oh my, my god, it's so long. Goodness. This so, was this was a palatable amount of Quidditch for me, and I've been a Quidditch naysayer the entire time. I love this guy who's so full of himself. I was <laughs> just a friend. I who, like my uh, chances. Cormac, Fucking who told God. me about her Quidditch in real life. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, and I was People like, play that. Yeah, don't tell anybody that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you yes. tell people that you did. Yeah, what don't admit that. that. Don't all, admit that. All that, that stuff you torture. just said to me, never say it again <laughs> yeah. to anyone. <laughs> to anyone. Okay, ever, but, ever. Now that, but now that she spilled the beans, what the fuck is Quidditch in real life? No, she, play, she played in college. You've never seen that? So they they like, run around on brooms? It's, it's a lot yes. like LARPing. Do you know what LARPing is? I do know what, what LARPing is. It's that? a lot like LARPing. Live action, live role, action playing. role playing. Oh it's like my. where you pretend to be wi- wizards and knights and stuff, and you play like Dungeons yeah, and Dragons. Like sleep. Yeah, but that yeah. I understand because yeah. that's what knights did. They were on the ground sword fighting with people, but a Quidditch is flying around on a broom. Yeah, they How just, do you I do think that? No, they, they just, just are like, like galloping like they're like on a like a hobby horse type of thing. Yeah, so me and my co- me and my yeah. other person where I don't want to I don't want to like Reveal oh, not gonna help them. They did. But me and my yeah, other let's, friend let's were talk like, about some names. Yeah. Don't say the name specifically, she but was, say everything about how you know them. <laughs> she's a little bit older than me, and she was like, "Oh, we were like right in between of of like when people would say they played Quidditch. We're like, you're a loser. Like, why are you doing this? And then she was like, Yeah, like by the time I was doing it, it was official, and they had like leagues. Yeah, they and, do. Like dodgeball, like yeah. Oh my god! As somebody who feels what? like ultimate frisbee is a loser sport, <laughs> oh, I can't even imagine <laughs> somebody oh playing. Oh my god! I don't. I don't think it's as hot as it once was. She's such a cutie. Like she's really cute, Am and I, I feel like her and Ron should be together forever. Oh, mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. And why doesn't Ron see it? Like this he's is a, a real... loser and a man. Yeah, such a dummy. Men are dumb. Such a dummy. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, men are so dumb. Ron. Anyway, Ron was yeah. frustrating me in this movie. Although I'm, I'm usually team Ron. It was very annoying to see him be so stupid, uh, and so full of himself. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at his big dumb happy smile. Yeah, he's he thinks idiot. he did good at Quidditch. The the it's it's way funnier when after the Quidditch game they're like. They're just like chanting his name, and he's like standing on a table. It's, it's like, like a fr- oh it's like a full God. on frat party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And wait, and did you have a Quidditch story? Were you gonna say that? And I could, no. Were you, you, you no, gonna tell I, us your I've only I've only like story? seen videos and like. <sighs> so wait, yeah. hang on. I got a little live action Quidditch questions, which yeah. you won't be able to answer. But they are running around pretending to ride brooms. Yeah. But they're like in a like a. What about the bludgers field. and the and the snitch? I don't really know. I think it's mostly just snitch and the throwing through the hoop one. I don't know what. But the, but the what's main a, what's a, what's a fucking snitch? The snitch is a is a. See, is a I'm confused about that also. Like anthropomorphic. Uh, what have you done, Ashley? Ball. What the, have you done? I don't. <laughs> I, I want to try to remember. I don't want to delve into Quidditch, but I'm really curious. The snitch, they just they tie one to like a rat and they let it loose, yeah, like, and someone has to like a drone. It. I have like some kind of memory. I think there's like a you drone take a is tennis good. ball and you spray paint it gold or something. But <laughs> like it doesn't that. fly by itself. Wait, I have yeah. to tell you something. I don't know what the girl that played Quidditch. Yeah, is from Texas. Oh really? Oh my god. Believable, so like yeah. a, Makes sense. a black That's mark on the do. state. <laughs> I feel like I feel like te- there's so many parts of Texas that are so like suburban, like middle, like not fully urban, not fully rural. Um, that, frisbee golf is probably big in Texas. I, I like feel that. like this. The, I feel like the suburbs is where like Harry Potter culture was like big. You know what I mean? Like, but in, like also in America. But, but like, it was in college. It was, she was. Yeah. it was legit. But like also but she, wide she open. She must have got into it before college. Oh. oh, into the Harry Potter. I don't know. That seems like a very college thing. Like oh, I yeah. see it like oh, posted yeah. on much, a cork board. Like join the Quidditch team. Yeah, Whoa. but they're already they're already. And they're like, it. I'm a loser. I have no friends. <laughs> they're asking no, for me. I do want to say because she's probably going to listen to this oh, because oh, every yes. time I post something, my team is very supportive. Yes, she's very lovely. 
Uh-huh. Like, this is a really good friend of mine. I won't hold and I love her so much. I won't hold this against her. I'm glad we didn't name her name. I will never. But I will say. But when say, we're off, I need to know the, just so I. WTF. <laughs> like, what is Quidditch? Like, in real life. Like, oh, I just crazy. can never Insanity. not see it as, like, as a dork thing. I, I'm willing to hold off uh, judging her until after I find out more than just the Quidditch thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the. Yeah, I agree. The Quidditch thing should not define this person. Yeah. All right. All right. Look at him. That's the guy. That's the guy. Oh, wait. They say his name. It's like something with an snogging. S. He's S. doing all snogging. I He's love, a snogger. I love um, in this scene where they're drinking the butterbeers, uh, Ron's sweater, the like zip front, orange and brown stripes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I would, this I'd seems like a, a very Colin like thing. I would, would love to wear that. You would be that wearing sweater. that with like powder blue gym shorts mm-hmm. and uh, and um, your typical uh, s- slip on oh, man. <laughs> shoes. That's your style? I saw. That sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like. Sounds like a cool guy right there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got a you got a sense of sense of style. Look, it's not like it's not my fault. The weather here is always good, and I can wear shorts every day. <laughs> That's not my fault. I mean, you, the shorts you choose, I think, are part of. <laughs> I got the, my uh, I got the, like the shortest pair on today. Yeah, you feel these a little, are the, very cute. I, I feel a little got the tiny I pink, your shorts the today. tiny pink tie dyes. <laughs> we're like. You can every once in a while before you adjust yourself. There was a nutsack trying to oh, escape. No. <laughs> I have on underwear <laughs> just in case you're. I, just I know, in case my wandering eyes. I know this hurts the quality of the podcast for me to admit on on mic that I'm wearing underwear, but, <laughs> but I am wearing underwear. So many people Sorry, just listeners. hit pause and are <laughs> yeah. onto something else. Well, right don't now. worry. That's one out of four audience. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, somebody's like listening in their the rest car. Of us, they, the rest of us are concerned about our panty line. Thank you. <laughs> Man, we are not talking about Harry Potter anymore. So <laughs> I think the Harry Potter was the least interesting part of our conversation. I also, I like the idea of, the, they go to this, what is this a bar called? The, the campus bar. Oh, I, I love I that, that this I high school has a campus bar. Yeah. But also, I love that like the teachers there are clearly drinking something. Al- they're all drinking butterbeer, which I assume is non-alcoholic. Uh, but the teachers are getting this fucking slosh in this place, and they just go and drink with their professors, which is something is... that normally you don't get to experience until college. I think that's England, first of all, and second of all, I think maybe butterbeer. It's magical in nature, so maybe it like it, it gets you only as drunk as you need to be because it's <laughs> magic or whatever. That's what I say I about was actual about alcohol. That because yeah. you know, um, wherever the Harry Potter stuff Universal in real Studios. life, yeah, yeah. is is butterbeer? Does it have alcohol in it? No, it doesn't. It oh, has. Ooh. It has oh. way, way, way too much sugar in it. Is what it has. Which, which, which so makes it's like, me, it's like it's, Cidre. It's like Stella Artois. Cidre. It, it no, it's like even less alcohol than that. Cider. It if you like the butterbeer they serve at Universal Studios, it's, it's like a mocktail. Yeah, it's but it's like it tastes like candy, not like not even like a mocktail. It's like it tastes like a like a cream soda or something. Yeah. Right? Oh. Yeah. So sucks. basically, the Why time I went to Universal and had like four butter beers and started acting wild and getting up on the table and dancing, you're telling me that that was not butter beer related? Uh, I mean, unless it was like from like drinking like three thousand calories or something like that. See, so <laughs> wait, I'm jumping back into the movie real quick. Like this girl was with them. Okay, so we just witnessed the scene where. We saw a girl get lifted into the air in a crucifix position, and she looks like she was possessed. Her hair yep. is uh, floating, and then yeah, yeah, cool. she had a silent scream, and then she gets slammed down yeah, into the snowy. ground. It looked good. It was a good. Yeah, it was a well shot. Time. Yeah, but it was she like was a red it, coat. it raised oh, a lot a of questions. I was like, scene. "Who is this? And what yeah. is happening? Who is yeah, this? What's never, happening?" That 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 was a really poor like that was a big mistake of like not giving us anything to set up. Who is this girl? She was so random. Yeah, you know I mean? but we find out. At, see, this is one of those things. There's probably a chapter in the book devoted to this. Well, she's in yeah. the scene when all the girls bullshit. are looking at the love potion and they're, they're right. like moving towards it. And that's the first time we see that girl. But it's not quite clear in that scene that that's... I had to go back. I was like, is this the same girl from that scene? Yeah, but we sort of figure it all out after this. I'm glad they didn't belabor this because we kind of get the idea. She was carrying a necklace. We find out later the necklace was something that she was given to give to... Somebody yeah, it's else like a death to necklace. give the Dumbledore. I love the way Snape looks at the death necklace too. Yeah, like oh, it's fabulous. I wish you could do an Alan. Rickman, <laughs> I wish you could do an Alan Rickman impression because he's got such a distinct speaking style, <laughs> and it's like I'm looking at this. We got the closed captioning on, and I'm just looking at his dialogue, and every word he says, <clears throat> I can hear it in my head the way he would say it. 
but I cannot imitate it. Yeah. And he's so like it's they're just normal words, but they sound so much better coming out of his mouth. So good. What was, <laughs> what's the line I kept saying last time? It's like Potter, Mr. Potter. Mr. Potter. Mr. Potter. Yippee Kaye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pick I would, up your wand. Pick up your wand, Potter. I, now I, I can't feel do like, it. I have to hear him. I feel like I wish I wish he was still around to do some sort of like combination of Snape and um Hans Gruber. It's like you you wanted magic, I'll give you the FBI and magic. <laughs> 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 With a spoon. <laughs> With a spoon. <laughs> Mr. McLean. Cause it'll hurt more. <laughs> ho, ho. <laughs> Uh, you know, this movie bums me out for a lot of reasons, but one of the big reasons <laughs> is <laughs> great, oh my gosh. great beginning of any thought. Phil. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> it, it bums me out because I don't know how we could play top four with this. There's no new. Jim Broadbent. Who's the, who's the guy who turned into a chair? What's that guy? Jim Broadbent. Name? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, don't know I'm, anything else that guy's in. I, I, I know that I've seen at least three like, other you things. You run he's top in, four and but we'll I guess don't know Jim what Broadbent they are. movies. No, I want to run top four. Can and and you he's guys, just said that he won't have a single guess for a Jim Broadbent. But I don't have a guess either. <laughs> yeah, but your guesses are always kind of dumb anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I know I've seen him in at least like three other things, and I cannot figure out what they are, you know? I could see his face in like old person costume. He's There's some movie he's known for where he plays like a super old famous person, and I don't know what it is. Do you know what I'm talking about? If yeah. you look at his top four, I guarantee you there is a poster I, of an old man's face. I'll, I want to. I want to do. Let's do this top four. Okay. 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 While you look that up, the scene that we just watched or did not watch, uh-huh. um, Harry said he was listing attributes of a woman that's attractive, and he said her skin is nice. Do you guys look like I'm the only woman here? Do you guys look at skin? I mean, if there's like some sort of like um, thing where there's like a lot of blemishes or maybe like um, discoloration on the skin, that is a turnoff. But um, I mean, you know, like I got to say for a me, lot of women already do have good skin, you know, like in general, like, yeah, I, I would say I would say men are more prone to having bad skin than women are. I don't know if that's sexist or what, but I like I, I will I, say, I have though, no evidence to, to answer your question. Point. Yeah. For me. <laughs> It's a thing I notice. Definitely. You notice skin. For sure. You're like, oh my gosh, she has beautiful skin. Yep. I feel like you It's like really smooth and 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 buttery. Here's here's smooth my, and buttery. Here's, I, I I would not notice if somebody had good skin. You notice bad skin. I think everyone notices bad skin. You know, like yeah, that's if somebody's weird. got like skin problems, that's noticeable. Anything beyond like normal to good, I don't know what the difference is. But I guess skin would probably rank somewhere on the priorities, like after like, you know overall face and boobs and butt you know like like and you know like, like okay, it's going great. yeah Thank like, you. You like there's a question. lot like there's a lot of other things that are like i'm not like oh that's really hot skin <laughs> Harris is like you know usually uh i notice a woman has good skin if the skin on her boobs is good skin <laughs> <laughs> i think you're joking but it's pretty much like i'd be like yeah yeah it's really good <laughs> I noticed she had really good skin when she was wearing that uh, crop top. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me, there was a girl I went to high school with who had humongous boobs and she used to wear like <laughs> low cut shirts all the time, but she had really terrible skin and she had like eczema almost, you know, like red patches mm-hmm. and like bumps and kind of, you know, like it was a, like your mind as a young person was torn because you're like boobs, huge, but skin horrible, you know, like, oh, yeah, see, my, my mind would not <laughs> be as torn as yours. I don't think. <laughs> well, I'd be like, hey. I can deal with this. <laughs> well, you know, have you seen the movie The Craft with yeah. Nev Campbell? Yeah. That's the whole storyline in The Craft is Nev Campbell has like a skin well, disease. she's like a burn victim. Yeah. That's a little different than some eczema. Yeah, that's just cruel, Colin. <laughs> Jeez, Colin. What? Wait, wait, what take did it I there. say that was wrong? Take it there, Colin, man. God. Well, I, I think Nev Campbell looks good even as a burn victim. I'll say that. 
Well, that's not a stretch. Um, uh, actually, that's my biggest complaint with the craft. Is that like... my biggest complaint with the craft is that like I was like, wait, just a couple of scars. They're not even that bad. Was, she still looks like Nev Campbell. What's the problem? <laughs> she still has boobs. I mean, come on. Uh, Harris, have you seen you dog her boobs. I don't know. I'm doing like a voice. <laughs> I know. I know. That's not what I sound like, guys. Um, Basically, men. Is that actually where your cat like hangs out all the time? Yeah, don't change the subject. Oh, you boob no, hound. I'm just, I'm just kind of fascinated by like. I've never seen a cat hang out there before. Oh, Let's yeah, switch no, gears to pussy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's a good button on the entire conversation. Yeah, yeah Harris just yeah. wants this to end. Yes. No, he likes that's that That's what spot. I get for being honest. <laughs> He's doing it's a, like... It's a guy cat? Yeah. It's a boy cat? Yeah, his name is Good Guy. You did say that. Yeah. Okay. Um, he has I thought like I misheard you because it's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> he has like some alter egos. Um, he's also like, oh no, not the he, he has like a gun. like he puts on like a luchador mask and he becomes a, a superhero he, secretly. The cat puts on a luchador mask. <laughs> Calm has nothing to do with it. This is all in my imagination, anyway. So <laughs> let me say it. Oh, oh god, I feel like you said this. And he becomes a cat superhero called Gato Man, and he like you know prowls the streets like doing like you know, fighting crime as a cat, but like a cat superhero with the luchador mask. And then he's also, um, his, his whole like hip hop career as a rapper, he's a squishy man. And he's like, squishy man, squishy man, squishy man, cat. And like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't, I, don't really I didn't, I didn't, I knew I you were know, looking at me single. the whole time while I was saying all this stuff, no, but I didn't I, look over to see what you were Keep saying. going because I'm trying to figure out <laughs> yeah. how racist this is. <laughs> That's not racist. It, because because the in the superhero one he's like kind of Mexican and the, and because in the hip hop one what, what if what if he's what if the cat's Dominican that kind of covers both bases but cats, is, no. cats don't have a race though oh my god yes cats do have a race no I'm, I'm, I'm well this one's <laughs> Persian this one's black and white actually no. so he kind of he's kind of covered. But I'm just messing with you. Okay. <laughs> Colin's really sensitive no, about this. I know. Uh, no, no, I'm scared. <laughs> Colin will start okay. falling all over himself apologizing. I thought, Are we ready to play top four? I thought I could make up as many alter egos for a cat I'm in as many you. different... Um, and, and, just yeah. like, and just like a game of Street Fighter, all his alter egos are just ethnicities. <laughs> oh, yeah. We take There's turns. This Russian one where right, he wrestles right, a bear. Right. <laughs> well, like, his... His main identity isn't necessarily like it's a Italian. white guy. Yeah, it could be Italian. Yeah, he's a good guy. Good guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His main identity is is like a guy with a little weird eye thing going on. It's like kind of yeah. like um kind of like uh the guy from Goonies. Um, Basically, that's his main identity. Sloth. Sloth. Yeah. Like, hey, you guys. Um, uh, again, we're like so far away from talking about Harry Potter. <laughs> it's all right. Thought we were gonna play top four, oh, yeah. but now we're in the quiz. Wait, match. do you I'm guys ready. always? <laughs> talk about the movie the whole time no no no, no. no. Not this, this is this is yeah. this is pretty it's, normal it's an eight this hour is, movie this <laughs> is how we get through all eight hours of this movie is we talk about other shit during it yeah okay great oh this is when he gets oh ron's this is yeah this is the highlight reel of ron being a badass Absolutely. and like kind of kind of feeling himself too he's yeah. like he's definitely like flexing Dude, here he's, he's gesturing to the crowd regularly in between each play and it's all because he's got the confidence of believing he's ingested the good luck potion which he has not done which, Which we I, find out later. We don't, fu- but we don't see the scene oh where. Oh my god! Those I know those people died. were dead. Yeah, those people <laughs> were absolutely, as usual. Quidditch match has a high body count. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, Harris, you're right. We don't. So <laughs> Harry, His fucking face. All, we don't see him actually pour anything into the drink. We just see him like push the drink towards him. And then Luna and, says, "You poured something into his drink." And then Harry flashes the vial with the good luck. So was Luna in, in on it? No, no, she's so messy. She's like really nosy. I think Harry yeah. must have been faking pouring something in, like pantomime yeah. the entire thing, knowing that Luna there's a would lot of it. steps. Harry, that Luna's, Harry, on a, Luna's on the spectrum. He knew that she would notice to point it out. <laughs> well, no, no, it's not. It's not no, that. Is she? Harry, oh, pays, definitely. She? No, I don't. I she's don't know. Fine. If it's canon, Every, but th- she's there's nothing wrong with Luna. There's nothing wrong with Luna. Harry is wait, the only no, one. I, who pays wait, <laughs> nobody's saying that being on the spectrum is wrong, Colin. Oh, fuck. So you know, I don't like. It okay, takes, yeah, you know. Okay, okay, okay. For the record, Colin is not editing this episode. <laughs> yeah, we gotta leave all his. <laughs> oh, we t- all we all his take after. we take turns editing, and anytime like the episode is late, I'm like, Colin, what's going on? He's like, Yeah, I feel like I said some inappropriate stuff in this episode, <laughs> oh and I, it's God, taking me longer. So to, but, oh, but it's I, all about him bad mouthing autism people usually. So <laughs> so we're gonna leave it oh in. God, we're gonna God. leave it in. I this never time. Have. Ever. We're going to leave it in this time. Um, no. 
Harry, Harry's just the only. Goddamn, I didn't get to say what I was trying to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, Harry's just the only. The audience is that, primed now, so go ahead. Yeah, be Harry's as just offensive the only character as that regularly pays attention to Luna. You know, like a lot of them, like they know she's like doing her own thing, and they like ignore her. Mm-hmm. But Harry regularly is like Luna is doing this. He like is aware of it, and Luna pays attention to everything because yeah. she. And so Harry is aware have social that, skills. Yeah, and Harry's aware that Luna can see him do this like pretend to put something in Ron's drink and then he pretends that it's the, yeah. Yeah, but they, we don't see the scene where they reveal to Ron that it, that the, the skill was inside him all along. Right. Which I kind of, yeah. I wouldn't mind it it having had off. that moment of being like, because it also would help explain why Ron's so fucking, like it's like kind of annoying how cocky he is now yeah. when he thinks it's all good luck potion. Wouldn't he be like neurotic about like the next big game that he's going to have to play that he's going to suck then? But clearly they know because they have the good luck potion later and Ronda isn't like, oh my God, where did the good luck potion come from? I thought you gave it to me. Yeah. So like clearly they do tell him at some point, hey, you're actually a pretty good Quidditch goalie. Uh, wait, how does he get injured in, in another Quidditch? Or He goes to the hospital, right? What? He gets poisoned, or he, oh, gets, yeah. he gets a love potion, and then he gets poisoned. Yeah. Right, 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 okay. Oh, we got some drinks going on here. What, what? Is this the countdown to blast off? All right, guys, let's, it's the countdown to top four. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I, I I'll start the movie again. Okay. All right, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's play top four. I want to talk about, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we well, we, we can talk about Darko's hidden four. cabinet. <laughs> yeah, talk about Talk about the wardrobe. Darko's, Darko's wardrobe. Wait, this is Narnia now? No, I'm sorry. I did want to talk about the birds. This is a black and white thing. Oh, oh the, the birds, birds that Hermione shoots yeah. at Ron yeah, and, and possibly murders? I think they were made up birds to begin with. I yeah, think they were they like ever really birds. exist? Like, they're magical, like, oh, conjurings, they right? Real, like, yeah, no, no. Canaries. It's definitely possible that this is, like, the start of her turning to the dark side of the force. Um, and she just, like, was, like, manipulating canaries and does, then just blasted them into a fucking wall where they explode into a ball of feathers, which would be fucking gruesome if they're real. True. Yeah, and they might be. Out. Does okay. the rabbit that comes out of the hat exist before it comes out of the hat? Yes. Does. <laughs> but before, is, is it alive or dead? This is Schrodinger's rabbit we're talking about. Yeah, right? Schrodinger's yeah. Uh, magic rabbit. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I like the dapper outfits they all wear. I was just going to say, this, Harry's uh, jacket is fucking cool. Yeah. It's got all oh. four buttons like right next to each other. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like. A lot of buttons right near each other. Yeah. So like Redundant ins- buttons. Button redundancy is huge for me. <laughs> Instead of having a high school dance now, it's the teacher's fancy party that he's throwing, and they're like real dressed up for it. Yeah, because they had a dance a couple movies ago, and that, I always, in my mind, thought it was this movie, but I see now why I got it mixed up. Oh, and this there's that one guy who just like is really trying to get laid with uh, Hermione, like really bad. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cormac. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> why, is that, why is that so funny? Is that not the way... <laughs> Wait, that's definitely that what's right? happening. <laughs> she says that he won't keep his hands off her. Wait, sorry. Let's play your game. Tell okay, me the yes, rules. Top four. Okay. All right. So the yeah, rules are, so have you ever gone to IMDb, looked up an actor, and they show four movie posters? That's their top four movies that they're known for. It's not their four highest grossing movies. It's not their four best critically uh, you know, acclaimed movies. No one knows how IMDb chooses these four movies. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Uh, which is what makes the game fun. So we and infuriating and infuriating. So we're going to guess the four, the top four films of this actor, Jim Broadbent, Jim Broadbent who none of us know from well, anything. I don't else. even Jim know Broadbent. this man. Okay, this is what's okay, going to make it. I, don't, I will I'll start. I'll start the game out with a hint. Okay, I for sure have seen two of these movies multiple times, um, and the other two movies I have never seen, and. I only know what one of them is because it's historical. No, historical. Ah, historical. Yeah. Wait, so Ashley's <coughs> guessing this movie? Yeah. Is this movie one of them? This movie is not one of them. Oh, Damn. My gosh. And then we, we just go around. Oh, Wrong. Matt, what's your guess? See, this is a good one for, for me to do, to, to do it because I give like the most... Uh, I give the the easiest hints. I I'm just thinking uh, like British films. Is mm. he in Love Actually? Uh, he is not. S- Damn, smart and that guess. is not wrong. Yes, yeah. Um, I have a couple of other guesses, but the only movie that I really remember him in that I'm sure that he's in is a movie called Iris about Iris Murdoch. That is wrong. Wow. Wrong. All right. In one of these movies, he plays a political boss. A political boss. Yeah. A very. Uh, oh. 
I maybe it's shouldn't say more. It's a British movie? No, it's not. It's a movie directed. I can't tell you. No, it's that. That'll really give it Ides away. of March. Wait, does someone want to say that? That's, no. That's a good guess. Ides of March is wrong. Damn. Wrong. Uh, is, is it Winston Churchill who he plays? No. Damn. That's not a political boss. Uh, wait, was that no, a guess? A, He's a boss? A He's New political? York City political boss. I was going to say Gangs of New York. Gangs of New York is correct. Wow. What? Yes, he plays Boss Tweed. Yeah. You don't remember that? He's yeah. like, if you if you remember if you remember Gangs of New York, um, Daniel Day Lewis's character is like in good with the the political structure of New York. That's how it, he runs the five points. And Boss Tweed was an actual person, historical New York political boss person in that time period. And uh, Daniel Day Lewis's character is like just you know in good with him. He helps him host the boxing match, mm-hmm. and um, and that's how. That's how uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, 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 um, DiCaprio, DiCaprio, yeah, yeah, DiCaprio, yeah, Brazilian yeah. dance fighting. Yes, yeah. um, that's how he kind of gets in good with Daniel oh, Day Lewis. Is he like, let's? Sorry, this scene is great. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah on the train. The movie, what's, this, what's this girl's Psycho. name again? Lavender. Oh, Lavender, Lavender Brown. Lavender, Lavender Brown. Brown. Oh, how could I forget? Psycho. She's, I, she's breathing I, on she the breathes glass. Good. I mean, isn't this actress good? You really got to commit to that. Yeah. The, the whole zigging back and forth <laughs> yeah. with her brain. No, but I have to tell you, when you're in love, when you're a young person. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. that's what. breathe on mirrors and that's, windows. This is why like, it works. This is why it kind of works. Because it's like, you're like, yeah, this is awful. But also, we've all been there, I, kind the, of. This scene like and then, makes and then me feel, shows up yeah. and just looks at it and is like, oh Jesus fuck. No, this Christ. scene makes me feel uneasy. This is the exact type of thing where like I would be like kind of into it, but like also in my mind having to be like, this is a huge red flag. You I know, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah. I have to ask everyone a question. Yeah. Have you all had someone who is like psycho in love with you like this? Well, wait, I think we're guys. I think the question is like, have we ever done any anything psychotic like this? No, I want to know has a, oh, girl a girl ever okay. been in love with you like Lavender? Because she is, she's um, a lot. Let me and tell you something. Yeah, she's a lot. Let me tell you something. They always say they're in love with you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and they're not. <laughs> oh, and then you get your heart broken, and then you follow uh, up back, and yeah. it's like I don't think I've ever been hotly like pursued by a girl in my life. I think I'm always the pursuer, as you mm. should be. That's how it should be. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Great. Yeah. I mean, I've had girls like enjoy my company and you know, that kind of a thing, but like never has anything like that happen. Yeah. When you catch them, She's they don't crazy. hate it. She's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I got to say, it's like kind of the opposite with me. I've mostly been the pursued and not the pursuer. Interesting. It's because you're tall. I, that, that. I think that's I a big, say, yep. I think it's a big part of it. But, but also if, from my standpoint, mm-hmm. why should I do the extra work when I'm kind of like, I'm kind of flexible. I'm, you know, up for like, I, I, you know, so if, so why should I go chasing somebody who doesn't want me when somebody who does want me is probably going to come up to me eventually and be like, you're my type. And I'm like, okay, good. You're my type too. Then I guess, you know, like it's very, but so I, I stay away from the red flags. So when I see that like obsessiveness, I tend to distance myself a little bit, but I have had like the breakups where after the relationship is over, it was like people were like way more in into me and usually and usually it's people who broke up with me because i also don't like to break up with people so she would break up with you and then be obsessed with and you then be a little obsessed and then slash yeah. your tires yeah well not that far but yeah no i've had people like like definitely make me uh, a little i've had like a, a wide range of experiences including <laughs> people who are psycho yes um <laughs> you've had psychos <laughs> is it, it was it in texas or california uh I mean, it depends on like what your uh, you know uh, level. We, we can cut what this part your, out. What your part. level and experience <laughs> of, like, okay, of, of okay. psycho <laughs> is? Uh, yeah. What? How do you define psycho? What is too psycho? What is not psycho enough? Or whatever. All right, Ashley. What about you? We, I don't you, know. You've I, had... I feel like I feel like if if I were to like really dive in on the, this, let's whole not make question, this the podcast. <laughs> that'd be like. Four more hours of podcast. I've really, <laughs> yeah. I think I've seen these four hours play <laughs> yeah. out. Um, yeah, uh, Ashley, what what about you? You've had somebody of psycho obsessed with you. I've had someone leave notes on my car. Oh, I believe that. That uh, could wait, be sweet. Wait, wait, was this like and more could recent? Be not sweet. I feel like the notes on the car is something that uh, can be more sweet in the younger years. Like mm-hmm. I feel like a note on the car in like high school years is it's like cute, cute yeah. as fuck. 
No, but a note on the car, like, like every day. Oh yeah, no, maybe not. Well, once again, it all is kind of like if you're into it, yeah, that it's very cute. If you're yeah. not into it, then it's and there is like a limit, like how many notes is too many, like you know, like. Like if they're doing this outside your house where they're looking at you through bushes and it's like sh- really shaky scary. point of view. I yeah. I'm not into it. I'm I think not. a good I think a good rule is that like if you're ever hiding in some bushes, <laughs> like you need to examine what you're doing. And yeah, yeah, if you're if you're like creepy horror movies and you can hear your own breath where it's like <sighs> Yeah. <sighs> That's just, a bad sign. You've just gone this too far. is the werewolf guy, by the way. Oh wait, which yeah. oh the guy towards yeah. the end. David okay. Thulis. Why is she in her robe? She just she just took a shower. They're trying to make her look hot. They're trying to be like, they're hey, look, trying. But she's young. Yeah. They should have. Oh, they should have dressed her up and put some makeup on her. Oh my gosh, hair is so. <laughs> oh, and this. <laughs> Why does she tie her shoe? She bends shoe? down as high as shoe. What are they? What are they trying to? This say? Is, they're trying to say she's is, nurturing and. Yeah, uh, I got. It was sexual, right? I got the sexual. This is undertone. very oh. sexual. Yeah. She's gonna get it. She's on her in her bathrobe, getting on her knees in front of him, and that's what they're like. Honestly, like all of this stuff, valid. The weirdest thing I think about all of it is that this Jenny Weasley character seems to be very much created so that Harry can like admit that he wants to be in Ron's family really bad. Because he really wants to marry Ron, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we discussed oh. this in the last movie. I feel like okay. Harry is always left out. He gets to Ron's house yeah. and, and Hermione's, Every, Hermione's already, already there. there. Everyone's yeah. already there. And like Harry, I mean, come on. Harry's parents got murdered in front of him. He wants a family real bad. Please explain this to me. <laughs> he doesn't even care if they're redheads. What red is happening? Yeah, he doesn't even care. This, so, this is so the worst scene in the movie, I think. starts running, and then Harry oh, yeah, it's starts dumb. running, but then the So this, this lady, in the previ- at the end of the previous movie, at the very end of the previous movie, this lady, Bellatrix Lestrange, murdered Harry's godfather. Un- uncle, godfather, who yeah. is like his only caretaker and the only person that is kind of his family. Yeah. So... That was the last time he saw her, and then he sees her show up here, and he runs after her, even though it's obviously a trap. Yeah, she's, she's haunting, haunting him. him. She's yeah. saying, I've ki- I killed Sirius Black. I killed Sirius Black, yeah. Um, which is kind of like an uncreative taunt. I mean, it's true, but, this but is, you know. This is the sister, yeah? Running? Yeah, why? Yeah, she, Jenny, she chased yeah. after Harry, because they're in this movie, they're trying to show that she loves him. Yeah. Even though it should have been like one of his friends, or one of the people that were closer, or some somebody, like any number of those people could have been like, Harry, don't go, or also, Harry, I'll go with you. Yeah. But instead, she goes. Who's w- this? Who's this? He's oh, that's a, just oh, this like a werewolf. bad guy. He's he, like a goon. He, he, he's oh. a goon. Yeah. He's a new guy from this movie. They've introduced that he is a werewolf. So Although, if he, if he plays Bowser in, in a Super Mario Brothers remake, I wouldn't hate it. I think they're building, they had to introduce a werewolf character because there's a good guy, werewolf guy, and I think they're building up to the final battle in the last movie where there will undoubtedly be some werewolf on werewolf action. This this is funny too because like, this is the movie's statement on like, we obviously just saw that Lavender is like too obsessed with Ron, but Jenny is not too obsessed with like Harry, according to like, to run out in her bathrobe and risk her life to fight for him. Even though she's also doing kind of like an obsessive thing of like just, Running out after him in a bathrobe. Oh, and these two are now officially an item. Uh, Lupin right. and, and yeah, what's her name? Which happen. we didn't see happen, but they were both introduced in the last movie. Or no, he was introduced in a previous movie, and then she was introduced in the last movie. And then that's one of the things where like the people who read the books are like, oh, yeah, they're together, obviously. And Whereas like, like she was getting lines in the last movie, <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, who is this yeah. random broad who <laughs> yeah. showed up and is like now getting random lines that seem important? And they don't even introduce her or de- with Harry develop her. Ca- so yeah, she flirts with Harry. Even this girl, yeah, exactly. And him. and they don't develop her character at all. And then in this movie, it's like, oh yeah, she's married to this other guy from this other movie. And it's like, what the fuck is going on with you people? Yeah. I like her haircut. In this, this is kind of cool. I will say that. Yeah, although it was all Who's very that? avoidable. Oh, that's, 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 that's dad. That's yeah. Ron's dad. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, and did everyone have to go after them? And also, <laughs> could could the mom and Ron and Hermione not have de- defended the and all the the brothers? Like, there's a ton of wizards that are back at the fucking house. Who's that other guy? There was another guy. There's they, they got they, they got Weasley's up the ass back of the house. They can't defend their own fucking home. I, th- I believe that's what the house is called. Weasley's up the ass. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like one of those like um, uh, Skyfall on, Weas- on Weasley Broadmoor. Upon, oh yeah, yeah we, 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 we get the manor. Weasley, Weasley upon us. <laughs> Have we given up on top? Four? <laughs> we live at the, the <laughs> yeah, manor of back Weasley oh, upon us. We did, we did. Okay, no, no, we got to keep the top four going. Mm, so yes, I'll, I'll see you then. Weasley upon us. Yes, so Gangs of New York is right, so we need another clue. We need another clue. Gangs of New York is one of the two movies that you know. Yeah, that I've seen multiple times. Another one of these movies I've seen multiple times. I will give you a hint on that movie. It is, uh, there is a movie about a musician that is coming out uh, this year, very soon, 
that is directed by the same director who directed the movie in question. Oh, okay. Is it Bass? Bass? <laughs> Bass Lerman. You said a musician. Yeah, no, the, the name of the movie is not Bass. Though. No, no. Oh, my God. I can't, <laughs> no. I can't oh, say I know anymore. I know it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. anymore. But, Ashley, you should go first. Yeah, you, it's pretty clear you, it's know what, you know what the movie is. No, I don't. I don't. You don't? I well, just... But that's, you, a good, you, that's a good that's guess. A good You're guess. on the right track. I love guessing games. Yeah. So I just like the guessing. I don't yeah. like the All right. Well, well, you're on the right track. Well, I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna confirm or deny anything, but, but you hard. did say a certain he's thing. British. He's British, yeah? Yeah. This guy, yeah. But is, is this movie American? You could probably do an American accent. Um. Okay, look. This you, movie might take place th- in Europe. This movie is directed by Baz Luhrmann, okay? But, I mean, is it... Well, the Great Gatsby. It is that not. counts as a guess. It is not oh. wrong. Oh. It is not. Now you get now you get one wrong, and then I'll get I'll get two. <laughs> I'm gonna say I've never seen this movie, but I'm gonna guess Moulin Rouge. Ah, Moulin it. Rouge is correct. Boom. Right. That's this right. sucks. This is not fair. <laughs> and as soon as you and as soon as you gave the 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 Baz Luhrmann clue, I was like, oh, I remember him now in Moulin Rouge. Okay, let me tell you, I can I love clues. Like mm-hmm. I can guess. <laughs> But I'm never gonna guess you're, the right you, answer. You're good at clues, but you're bad at guessing. Yes, yeah. yes, I love it. I love it. She so she much. got she figured out that it was Baz Luhrmann way before both of yes. you. Yes, yes, well, she, she definitely one of them got it. She and definitely I'm like, did. Oh, I was I was to be fair, Baz Luhrmann. <laughs> you definitely said Baz. And I was like, oh, yeah, no, no, no. Like, I literally was about to look over you and be like. Bass fishing, <laughs> like his okay. cousin, his cousin Bass Pro okay. Shops. So I have an accent that is. It you can't tell the the Z's from the S's. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Correct. Correct. <laughs> All right. Do we need another clue, Colin. We need a clue for one of these. All right. Okay, so the, the real hard ones. Movies, okay. Yeah. yeah. One of the hard ones, ones I kind of can't give clues on because I just like really don't know what the fuck the movie is. The other movie. <sighs> Is about a famous British prime minister, and it's I, I won't darkest hour. No, damn it, wrong. Well, I gave it a shot. It's uh, it stars Churchill. Is it his? That is not correct. Oh. Wrong. Is it his face on the poster? No, the poster for the movie that I'm talking about has the face of one Meryl Streep. Oh, I know oh, this one. Oh, the Iron. Lady. Oh, the Iron Damn Lady it. is correct. Damn it. Yeah. Damn it. And he plays Dennis Thatcher. And we are not going to get a clue for this oh, last one? Oh, that's a... Okay, oh. the last one came out in 2010. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is. Is it an Hold HBO... Uh, let me look at it. Like, miniseries or something? <laughs> Maybe you should give a clue on what the name is. It was like rated PG-13, and it's two hours and nine minutes long. <laughs> but it's like a one-word title? It's two words. Oh, shit. Are there people in it? Is it someone's name? It also has, no, it's it's not someone's name. Fuck, <laughs> I really don't know. What I feel this like movie I, there's is. this movie. You I think you, it's an you HBO looking movie. At the, you, you know what the logline is. You know who who else is in movie? it, and you can't give us a single clue. You oh, know who directed I'll it. I'll give you the logline. Yeah, the logline. A look at four seasons in the lives of a happily married couple and their relationships with their family and friends. This is a British movie. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, I just remembered the name of the movie that I was trying to think of, but I think it's wrong because you just said this is a two-word title. The movie I'm thinking of, I believe, is called Longford. It's wrong. But he's in that, right? Is that We'll, 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 we'll go into it. Yeah, we'll, I'm just going to guess wrong. Paddington 2 because I saw that the oh, other day, and he he's in definitely that, in that. But it's not right. Wrong. Okay. Damn. Wrong. wrong. One of the words in this two-word title is the word year. <laughs> Long year. Leap year? Wrong and Best wrong. year. R- wrong. Good year. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's New the, Year. It's about the tire guy. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. He plays Tire Man. <laughs> uh, Honestly, though, I would love to see like a cinematic representation of a man made of tires, but that's <laughs> the that's, Michelin Man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, year. Oh yeah, Goodyear is the is not the Michelin Man. I I messed that up. My bad. Yeah, Goodyear's the Goodyear. It's man. the um, it's the blimp the, and the, the little word foot or with the, the wings. Second word of the title. The second word. Ooh. That helps a lot. Thanks for that. Um, um, we already guessed all the good year. Okay, ones. I'll give you a hint at the first yeah, word. One of the words. We can't. I'll ooh, give ooh. you a hint at the first word. We're just playing charades. Best the, year. The hint is DJ Khaled. Another year. Yes, another, another year is correct. Another yep. one. I was going to say, bah, 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 <laughs> year. Another yeah. one. Well, that was dumb. Another well, but, year. Hey, we all, uh, we, we had a good distribution of correct answers. You got the another year. 
You got Moulin Rouge. And you got Gangs of New York. Yeah. I got, I got oh, the second one, too. You got Iron Lady? Yeah. Iron only because you got yeah. to pick, only because you yeah. got to guess Moulin Rouge and Iron Lady before I got a hint, or yeah, before sure. I got a chance at sure, the hints. Sure. Well, before I knew what it was, you <laughs> definitely knew what it was. <laughs> Usually I can tell a girl has good skin when <laughs> <laughs> if you're motorboating them and it's oh um, my God. <laughs> get me out of here. I just wanted to do the voice, sorry. <laughs> well, my voice? Is that your impression of me? <laughs> yeah, that's what Harris sounds like. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm Harris. <laughs> um. Going back to what we were saying earlier about leaving notes on people's cars. Totally nailing me. I, I have a good high school story. I left a note on a girl's car once. What'd you say? It was Mariah Carey themed. Oh, no. Oh, what'd you say? What'd you say? It was around Christmas time. Uh-huh. And with a bar of soap, which have you written on, hold on, on a window or like glass? Oh, so the bar oh like okay. writes like, really. He was like, here's I some got, soap. Wash no, your ass yeah. and get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I got confused. I thought you gave the girl a bar of soap. And I was like, that's the wrong that's message. That's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Prepare yourself. <laughs> it was around Christmas time. And I wrote on her windshield, all I want for Christmas is you. Uh-huh. I was at like 17. Mm-hmm. Yikes. It worked. That's a big swing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it worked. She called that's the so cops. <laughs> <laughs> no, this girl's crazy though. Like it she worked. Her she her told her boyfriend, and he beat my ass. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> no. <laughs> no, the girl in this movie is crazy. What's her name? Ram- Ram- Lavender uh, Rowena. Oh no, the other yeah, girl. Rowena. The one that's a, the one that's the obsessed with hair. No, that girl yeah. is sexy. I'm not gonna lie. I oh don't yeah. Know why. Oh yeah. Yeah. She should not be pining over Harry. She should have just been like finding yeah. anybody else who was. And had she better taste she almost her. gets Harry. I, I would say she's smart. So if Harry <laughs> ate the chocolates, he would be in love. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Is this That's what women terrible. want, though? Not, like, fabricated... They want fabricated love? Like, yes. it's not real. They just want to Yeah, that's why they're always roofing guys in bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's actually accurate to uh, the, the oh, real world. Oh, that's sad. Uh, yeah, this isn't... I don't know that this is actually... Yeah, I, no, I don't know. I don't, I don't... I don't... This is weird. I don't... I, I think mean, it's. I think maybe as a young person, I probably would want a partner who is like just obsessed with me and like doesn't want anything else. But then he almost dies. He you almost would, dies. So, like, but wouldn't it be a bit much? Don't you like? You want well, somebody who's obsessed with you, but like not all the time. No, I, as a young person, you just mm. want somebody who wants to like sit next to you and like hold your hand the whole time and like yeah. dress in uh, matching outfits and it's like oh, really cute. You do like, want to love potions. I love you okay. so much. We love each other. Yeah. But yeah. like as you get older, you're like, please go have I hobbies. need a little bit of space. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't have, you have any other yeah, friends? Live, <laughs> yeah, I would please. say I would say the whole thing going on in this movie is much more a statement about like the adolescent idea yeah, of love than yeah. like, you know, and Look then even it. like this what men or women want, you know, mm. in general. Yeah. Yeah. This dressed me out. And then also the professor knew nothing. Oh, he yeah. Was just yeah. Like Look at his useless. face. He's like, like, well, uh, what a waste of, of professor. He's not, yeah. he is not like being an adult here. He is just like. But see, we get to see Harry leap in action and save his yeah. friend, which is good because it's about goddamn yeah. time Harry did something that yeah. wasn't dumb. Okay. Guess what US, USC professor this guy is. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Oh, no. I don't want to do it. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll we'll edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could keep it. Just like yeah. no one guesses. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us. Oh my god, he's, he's just, just sitting like, there, not he doing giving anything. up. Yeah, this was terrible. I didn't like it because it was too realistic. And he's got a great. He's got a great reaction too when they they're in the hospital in this next scene, and Dumbledore is like, "You must be very proud of your student," and he's just like, Ooh, "What?" Oh yes, yes. Like, like he's still like traumatized by the whole yeah. thing, and you know, like, oh, I guess so. I fucked up, but you know. Okay, yeah. so I wrote notes because I didn't know what this podcast was going to be. I used to do that like, too. I, I didn't that. know what yeah. you guys are going to talk about, but <laughs> this was my favorite moment of the movie when he said, "These girls, they're going to kill me." Yeah. <laughs> because I have so many male friends, and they're just like. Women are so, they're just on a different planet and I don't understand it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is realistic because he's like, why do I have to be such it? a great Quidditch stud? Oh, gosh, <laughs> not Quidditch. Ah, please, no. The ladies no love Quidditch. a Quidditch player. And then he was like, he woke up out of his slumber and said the right name. So it's like, you know, in your subconscious, 
Mm-hmm. But also, he bounces up. He has a quip about how these girls are going to kill him. He seems like he's okay. And then he's in the hospital, like, comatose, yeah. mumbling in his sleep. Which, yeah, I don't know. And he's mumbling in his sleep, and he mumbles the right name. But imagine if he had said, Hermione Elbow, am I right? <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean? Because <laughs> their name's Hermione, Hermione Elbow. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh you get it? Oh, even after you explain oh, it. Oh, boy, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Woo. Yikes. Yes. Yes. I'm He's proud of what I did. <laughs> what if he wasn't saying Hermione? What if he was saying my hiney? Like, he had, like, an itch. He was, like, trying to tell a doctor. What if he was like, Hermione, get my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he just couldn't get the rest of the words yeah. out. Um, what's the name? Oh, McGon- what if he was saying McGonagall? <laughs> <laughs> And he never, like, sh- after the scene, they don't tell him what he said. Yeah, that's another thing that's yeah. a little frustrating. I would have been like, um, me. you said you were into Hermione when you were unconscious. You we all heard me. it. You yeah. said you love me, well, remember? Get this yeah. shit right. You said it, no take backs. We're, we're dating now. You're right, my boyfriend. Dummy. We're in love. Yeah. Well, you like, know you wanted it. Just shut up and take it. Well, like, all the other characters that are here, I've... They're all like the responsibility is on Hermione to tell Ron that Ron said this. You know, if he doesn't remember, because Ginny even says something, and about Hermione time, doesn't. Yeah, Hermione's but like, like, don't put it on Hermione to be like. To he wakes up and she's like, oh, by the way, you you said we're boyfriend and girlfriend now. <laughs> no, like, no, what? You can't. Like, who's who's you supposed said to say? You it? love me. You who, love me. Yeah, right. Who's who? We're wait, together. Then, so you think I, Harry yeah. should have been like, uh, you? I think you Harry should have been like. By the way, do you remember being like, I'm all about Hermione now. Because you said that. And uh-huh. uh, if, if Harry was a true friend, he would have been like, I agree. I'm going to step in here, mitigate this, because I know these two belong together. They've been making eyes at, each, eyes at each other forever. And now he said it when he's unconscious. And now I'm just going to be like, hey, you ripped the Band-Aid off. It's out there now. Just own it, dummy. I have mm. a question. In other in other episodes, what is it? Other other movies. I think episode yes. works. Yeah, Whatever. either way. Whatever in you want to say. other series in this series... Ron is more into. They've kind of had a thing where they're both yeah. kind of like, like he's it like more, alternates. He's more like, oh man, I can't even stand her while he's yeah. obsessively looking at her all the time. He's like, he's the, she's so annoying because they've been together like since they're like little kids, like as as friends or whatever. And he's always like, oh, she's just the most annoying. And she's, you know and what she's I mean? all like, like, he's such a slob I'm and so he's so annoyed eats too by much. Her. And I got to yeah. babysit him all the time. Yeah, but like they spend all their time, even more than Harry, they spend their time together. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So it's little like by everyone little they knows. add scenes throughout the movies yeah. of them. They're like, dropping. They've been dropping, dropping hints. hints. Yeah. Do they end up together? I need to know. They do. I've oh. been told. Yes. Actually, on oh, no. them. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, just That's watch it. Them. Just I'm not going to. Well, we talked about it. it. <laughs> we talked about it because it's a known thing now that J.K. Rowling, the author, has said that she. That's her one big regret of the whole series is that those two got together. It should have been. She's thinks it should have been Harry and Hermione should have gotten Which together. is proof that J.K. Rowling is oh. not infallible. Yeah. She's got a lot of dumb ideas. Yeah, it's like... I don't think that's as good. She's she problematic on yeah. many levels. <laughs> you don't know what she's talking about. Do you guys want to... No, I don't no, want to. We, we, we dip we, into that we've, every once in a while. Colin in one of the best jokes ever. I'm not going to repeat it. It oh, was yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, don't say it. I don't... Okay. She's just problematic, yeah, and I have issues with her. But what I will say is that... Interesting... As she would say, mm-hmm. because at the end of this, in this, <laughs> look at this girl. Episode, she's good. Yeah, she's good. What is Actually. it? Epis- in, at the yeah. end of this one, yes. Uh, Harry like touches her hand, and I'm like, oh, yeah, because yeah, that's like a platonic thing. I, yeah, but I like, it? I like in this one, we also get Dumbledore asking him, so what's going on with you and Hermione? Which I thought exactly. was like the most. I was like, you gossipy bitch, Dumbledore. <laughs> what is going on? I'm very like. Oh, it's he's like, like he's like uh, you uh, you know come to my office you bring the tea yeah. <laughs> you know, like, no but it, feel, it felt this whole whatever movie felt like it was like oh these two people should be together however at the end I was like oh it should be Harry mm-hmm. and her yeah but that's such like a cliche I like that they that she didn't do like oh yeah the one female character ends up with the hero of the story. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it is interesting. I mean, I'm like, still mad about the train station girl thing and that whole like, hello. cock block there. Yeah, she was really exactly. Cute. Yes, she was. She was a really cute girl. Yeah, and she, she was out of his league. And really, like, she had no business being interested and, in the fake newspaper that he brought was, with his own name on. And it. she fake was interested. And she was interested in him for who he is, not like with these other uh, star fuckers who just yeah. you know want to date the famous Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah she, she doesn't know. One. She doesn't yep. know he's famous in the wizard world. 
Yeah. Oh, she was normal, right? Yeah, yeah. she's a regular. She's just a regular she's old. She's an actual uh, like person. What who do they call them? Normal like people in this? Do they have muggles? M- yeah. Muggles. No, I thought muggles. Oh, oh yeah, mudbloods are the yeah mix of the two. Yeah. Yeah. It's all bad. Yes. It's all bad. Exactly. <laughs> Ugh. How much more? Uh, should we just jump? Katie, to the how end? are you? Yeah. How much more movie do we have? Oh, See, this, this is be the girl the who got possessed and slammed into the yeah. ground. Remember, yeah. this is a character. You f- keep up. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly they have to like we'll in the conversation be again. like hey yeah. i remember you were the person that was in the snow and yes. went unconscious yeah, exactly. wait i did not get it until yeah. i like i watched it with subtitles and i was like oh that's who that is yeah I exactly Any oh this is where he almost murders uh draco though did I say? oh yeah i got his name right nailed it yeah this is important I'm, though because draco he's like he knows he's supposed to be a bad guy but he has mixed feelings about it like he's draco like i didn't malfoy malfoy yeah. Dra- draco mm, malfoy, malfoy. malfoy. Yeah. So he follows Draco to the bathroom where he finds Draco talking to himself in the mirror because they killed a bird or something. I don't All right. Know. Here's the thing. He's starting the the, the pressure is yeah, on because yeah, he has to do bad. this thing. Yeah. Draco Malfoy. Great name. Yeah. Great name for an evil wizard. What if he was a NASCAR driver? Mm. <laughs> Malfoy out there. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you just want to say everything with a with your Texas accent. The, uh, Harry Potter stuff with a with a Southern accent is funny to me. I, I'm sorry, I don't know why it, but it is. Professor Dumble what? <laughs> yeah. Dumble what? <laughs> Dumbledore? What the hell? He's up there in his pajamas. Why do they start shooting their wands at each other? Why is this in black and this white? This is full, yeah. full on black and it white. It is completely black it's and white. Totally black and white. Scene. Um, oh, it's like blue and white. But I also think it's funny that like. Harry pretty much like he's got at the end of this fight, Harry zaps him with uh, the half blood prince's curse that he read in the book. Yeah. Sec- know what it is. Uh, septum, septum, septum something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know what it does, but it's basically the equivalent of getting shot with a shotgun. Um, Cause he's got like shrapnel wounds septum, in his chest. Septum sphincterum. <laughs> oh my butthole oh no there's buttholes all over my chest um yeah so he's basically on the bathroom floor uh, bleeding out here yeah. and then Which fortunately disgusting place to be bleeding it's fortunately some professors come in and and severus snape saves his life but like he doesn't even like try to help him he's, he's basically like this kid is covered in blood he's what like is this color grade is it black and white just so they could show the blood is that i guess so. i'm just amazed that but like is he, it black and white because it's like it's there's just, a little, there's yellow and blue. Yeah, there's a barely, little bit of blue. Yeah. Barely. But th- he suffers no consequences. They don't take his wand away. They don't, like, they don't put him in detention. You know what I realized? He almost murdered a fellow student. The, but the, the important Vol- thing about Volveria, this scene is... The, well, the important thing about oh, this scene... Like, Vulnera, San, and yeah. Cure. The important thing about this scene is that Snape realizes that Harry used Snape's his curse his that curse. he uh, made up. Uh, uh, I see. Because oh. it's in... The Half Blood Prince book. You know what I noticed they did away with long ago, like the whole point system. Like there are mm-hmm. several oh, yeah. opportunities in this <laughs> where McGonagall says something like "Harry saved someone's life," and where she easily could be like "a hundred points to Gryffindor." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Harry almost killed Darko. Hundred <laughs> points for Gryffindor. Yeah. <laughs> We're not supposed. Like, Harry won the bathroom fight. Five hundred points for Gryffindor. The first movie, if yeah. you remember, is like all about the points. Like yeah. they have to like, which win. they never mention. They're constantly giving not, points to the houses in the first one. Also. This is another yes. scene where it's just like you're trying to shoehorn this fucking Ginny Weasley. Stop trying to force Ginny Weasley on us. Where it's like he's got this book that <laughs> you everyone knows hate Ginny a, so much. This is great. Listen, I've been <laughs> and sucks. And I've been a, I've know. been a Ginny supporter because because <laughs> I think she, she's a, she, she sucks. She Look seemed at her. she seemed like she seemed like a nice girl. I thought like I don't have a problem with redheads. I thought she was like a pretty little girl who mm-hmm. seemed like a good okay. whatever. And okay. then in this movie, she's given a lot of heavy lifting to do as an actress. And she just drops the ball on every opportunity. Oh. But this is another one where it's like, too, this they've is got the kiss, right? He's got this evil book, and he's there with his two best friends, who are his guiding, you know, light and his compatriots, yeah. and uh, and Jenny Weasley for some reason. And then Jenny's the one who's like, you know, you got to get rid of it. Come with me, and takes the lead. It's like, no, this is a Hermione's fucking job, or Ron's. This is something they do together as a trio. To her credit, she has the same wafy like body as Hermione. Like maybe, maybe that's what Harry's into, and the same face as Ron. So it's kind of like he's <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying. Now I get like, to fuck both my best friends at once. Wow. <laughs> to me, I feel like that the character is written that way, and like I don't know what that means, but 
She just she just <laughs> looks so vapid and Ugh, lifeless. So plain. Like, <laughs> yeah. do you guys remember Arrested Development? What was the girl yeah, on that show? Egg. egg. Anne. No, no. They Anne. called her, her? Some, like her? plain her? Jane or Pla- something. No, Anne. They call bland. Her. Bland. The, the, but they call, her the name bland. was Anne, but yeah. they called her bland. Yeah, the yeah. Job calls her bland. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's who she reminds okay, me of. I have to tell you a secret. Egg. This whole scene, I was thinking Draco was acting like her. That's. I thought she was up to some evil too because she actually yeah. was the evil person in one of the previous ones. She right. in uh, which she one was, was that? She was possessed in the Chamber, in of, the Chamber Secrets. of Secrets. Yeah. She was the one who was possessed by the thing and was had the secret diary of Tom Riddle and was the, the, behind all the mischief. No, and she's just horny. Look at this. And she's I horny. thought terrible kiss. She takes him to the place where where she Darko. Didn't even kiss him. What was she that? takes him to the Darko's cabinet, and she says she's going to hide the book. I thought she was up to no good. And then when she wasn't, I was like, well, the, what the fuck was the point of all this shit? Wait. Guys, was she a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> that is a what did you tell question? Maya when, when she asked that? <laughs> like, she was generally like, where is she? <laughs> I'd have been like, yeah, it she was, was a ghost. It was really bad. And then he was like, did you guys do it? Did you do it? The, I like that line. That's yeah, that was good. Was did did oh, we do... Yeah. Uh, we hit the uh, book. Uh, though, uh, right? We didn't do that much. <laughs> like, only overclosed stuff. <laughs> oh, the book. Yeah, we got rid of the book, too. <laughs> but, like... The kiss that they had, like, what is he gonna tell him? You know, it was yeah, <laughs> like, it was, it was, a it bad was dry. Like we, cut, yeah, we kind of touched dry lips yeah. together for a half a second, and it was fucking hot. Yeah, yeah. Great. it's uh, there was great. a little bit of up down movement, so it was kind of a scrape. And uh, then when I opened my eyes, she had run away. <laughs> I assume crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <I assume> <laughs> crying. <laughs> this is my favorite part of this movie this is and yes. i didn't hate this movie this is a fine movie lit. it's 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 good but i love when he drinks the luck, the potion, luck potion and is like kind of he's kind of like semi really excellent he's distracted <laughs> he looks a little high and he's kind of like just cutting loose hermione's trying to explain to a, a plan and he's like i don't know I think we're just gonna go chill with Hagrid. It seems <laughs> yeah. like a Hagrid kind of afternoon, and they're like, "No, you got to do this and that." And he's like, "Yeah, no, 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 I got it. <laughs> I know you have a plan." Because the entire so the setup for this is super fucking dumb. Because Dumbledore says, "I got this memory. It's this memory that we need to. It's a secret of Voldemort. It's like the backstory of everything. It's something that I did with Slughorn." when he was Tom Riddle and they had this conversation and I have Slughorn's memory, but it's been altered and it, but it's been altered. Right. Slughorn's hiding something. We need to know what it is. And this is why I need you to get close to Slughorn. Um, but we, when we find out what it is, it's the Horcruxes. And that's, precisely what Dumbledore knew it was the whole time. In yeah. fact, Dumbledore yes, has yes. been consistently looking at the diary, which is the first Horcrux. He really and he's been every traveling throughout scene. this whole movie, which you yeah. find out he's going to find the Horcruxes. other Horcruxes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really putting the dumb in Dumbledore that he needs Harry <laughs> really to, put to do this. <laughs> um, yeah. Have you been waiting to <laughs> yes. say that? You've been waiting just to came to me. <laughs> I can't believe we haven't said it more often though because he really is dumb in a lot of these. So anyways... But he, but he tells Harry basically like you've got to go undercover and get get information to this guy, and gives him no advice on how to do. Like this isn't like Donnie Brasco or Reservoir Dogs where he's like trained to like ferret out information. And so basically, what's Harry's strategy? Being a stupid teenager, he like immediately in the next scene goes into the guy's office and is like, "Hey, did you ever have this conversation with Tom Riddle? Yeah, uh, about this thing. Tell and, me about this now. Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. And then like when it doesn't work, literally they don't even have. I am sur- I'm sure this was like an editing thing where they cut out some part of the movie <laughs> that they had in between but they don't even have an interstitial scene between the time when this guy throws him out of his office out of the classroom because he yeah. asked him this question and then immediately he's knocking at his office door being like professor i got one more question about yeah. the thing that you got angry about earlier it's like look, what the, f- the how dumb are you harry look i know i've been trying to build trust with you for a while <laughs> the thing you're most uncomfortable about talking about it talking about it right now right now <laughs> yeah i will not take no for an answer yeah <laughs> And then what, what works is when he gets high on luck potion and then he sees a dude doing something like suspicious, stealing plants, and he acts totally disinterested. And he's like, all right, cool. Well, uh, I'm off to see Hagrid. And the guy's like, wait, now I'm suspicious that you're not more suspicious yep. of me. Yep. I'm going to follow you around. Oh, and he gets to say Merlin's beard again. This stressed me out. I can't. I... The spider's dead, though. Oh, let's talk about... How? Are you afraid? Oh, of I thought you. Yes. I thought okay. you were gonna say it stressed you out because it's a dead pet, and you were like, "Oh man, that, no, would, be, that would suck no, for Hagrid." Spiders no. can't do. Matt told me it was. What was the one I was supposed to watch? 
Oh, the, um, Deathly Hollows Part One. Yeah, I was like, uh, "Is it scary?" <laughs> He's like, "It's not scary. It's not a horror film." Like, like the name sounds scary. I'll yeah, I those sounds scary. Do, I'm looking forward like, to oh, it. Oh, there's your guy doing Yeah, yeah, you, you, you do a little picture. Yeah, yeah, I can't. <laughs> spiders, scary spirits. Like, I, I like that they um the spider that they make this like fake spider that they're looking looks at. Cool. Looks I, it looks cool because it's like it's like when you kill a real spider and it curls up on its back with its legs in. Like you know this you know those little hopping spiders that like are like tiny and black and kind of furry looking and like every time you try to stomp them they like jump really <laughs> <You're> far. <okay? laughs> it could, like those are the ones that kind of. <laughs> creep me out a little only because they're so unpredictable because they're such good jumpers yeah. that they can evade you and maybe jump at you to evade you but they when always do yeah they do don't they and they, they, and, they and jump they, for fun and they curl up like a little monkey paw when you kill them um and i always think that that's like the you know like uh, i don't know it's just really the attention to detail in this spider i thought was really really cool. i hate it so not a big spider fan no mm. so no spiders it. for you no bad birthday present I'm, me- I'm making a mental note not to give you any Please spiders. Please don't for your ever birthday. give me a spider anything. I got it. Got it. Anything yeah. else? I like spiders. I Wait, what are your top? Uh, is the spider number one fear? Yeah, is that? I think death. Oh, okay. Well, that's I rational. Like spiders. Yeah, that's less rational, but yeah. yeah. Okay, death and then spiders. Yeah. All right. That's we always like to get all of our deaths, or all of our guests' top fears. Mm-hmm. So that then, if we ever need to terrorize you for any reason, we have failure, yeah. failure is in there. Yeah, failure, that failure. success, okay. also a big one oh, for me. Oh my yeah. gosh! <laughs> yeah, Harris, Got the combination I of the cannot field. wait to talk after everything. This everything with spiders, I think, is we're, we're right in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you have what are your fears? I don't know. I what uh is imposter syndrome a fear can i be afraid that's of that's a little bit of that yeah, afraid of success because yeah. yeah, 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 when he said afraid of success i started thinking about imposter syndrome yeah very yeah. very common yeah yep definitely um <laughs> <laughs> matt what are you doing in there <laughs> what is the Oh, is it the cat? Oh, because there's those little um, the things that make springers. When you it's when you open the door all the way, there's a little thing at the bottom to keep the doorknob from hitting the wall, and And it's it's like a little spring. And then (laughs) the cat will like hit it and be like, "Oh, I." uh, I Now it's going to be funny if that didn't show up on any of the audio of this thing. We're just going to cut this whole section out because we were definitely talking about something that was very loud in the room, but might not have come out in any of our mics. That was definitely good guy's comment on imposter syndrome. <laughs> um, heights, feels, heights, heights. Oh, no height issues here. I mean, oh, like, good, good. I mean, like, you, you. Everyone's a little scared of heights if they're like on the edge of a cliff and like, you know, not feeling totally balanced. Here's my thing, though. If you're on the edge of a cliff, yes, and there's no guardrail or anything like that, right? You're just standing there and. Like, how often in your life have you been standing somewhere and all of a sudden uncontrollably fallen over several feet? I would guess oh. maybe never. Well, you maybe every once couple or twice. days. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> but, how does this happen? No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> so, my question Tell is so, this. my question is if you're standing on the edge of a cliff, right. are you afraid of heights or are you afraid you're, afraid of wind. you're gonna, are you, no, are you afraid you're gonna jump? Oh no! Oh. Are, you afraid, are, are, you, are you actually afraid that some little impulse is going to get in you and just be no, like I? So I one time many years ago I was at the Grand Canyon and a storm came in while we were at the Grand Canyon and it had like very high winds and it was super scary. It's less for me, but for my um my ex girlfriend who I was with at the time who only weighed was, like 25 pounds <laughs> no, and I mean, she, she was literally me, he I was mean, holding her hand and she was just flapping in the breeze well you know like we went and she and, like, was the inflatable. storm was coming in and like some of the other people too were really scared and i was like you know if we just like cross the road and go like stand over by those trees like we won't be scared that we're going to get blown into the canyon. Yeah, I mean, you're like unlikely to, to the you're tree. likely to get blown into like, three or four but feet. like we're like but we're like waiting for the bus to come pick us up and she's like but we're still waiting for the bus, though. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, then we'll stay here. <laughs> Matt, are you afraid of, um, at the edge of a cliff, are you afraid that you'll fall or are you afraid you'll jump? You know, I was never afraid of heights my entire life until recently. And now when I stand at the edge of something, I'm like, I start to panic yeah. inside. Yeah. Because you're afraid really? you're, you're, afraid yeah. you're you you'll you're just jump, jump off. 
do are you do I feel compelled to jump? No, is this is his thing. That's my thing. Is like you're not going to fall over uncontrollably. You've never done that in your life, so you can't be afraid that you're going to randomly fall. You're afraid that you're going to like. What about if you're not yeah, alone? I have had is that thought. A, there is a thing. Oh, what do you uh, call them? Invasive thoughts. It's like standing on the subway platform yes. behind somebody, and you're just like. I could totally push him right there. Wait, where did that come? <laughs> Whoa, don't have that yeah. thought, you know? Or have you ever had this one? Like you're driving in a, uh, like, you know, there's a dotted yellow line next to you and there's traffic coming the other way and you think to yourself, all I have to do is go What like is that. it? H Hannah and her sisters. Do you, have you guys ever seen Hannah and her sisters where Christopher Walken plays like the creepy brother and he goes on this long thing about, you know, <laughs> how he's driving on the highway and thinking about swerving the car into a bridge abutment, and, you know, like. No. I haven't it's seen a, it. It's a funny movie. Oh, it sounds it's hilarious. Funny? Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I mean, Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken explaining to Woody Allen very intensely why he's thinking about swerving his car on the highway into a bridge abutment is funny. Um, Wait, has this been going the whole time? What? The movie. Uh, the, mercifully, yes. We will get closer it's to the really end. It's really long. Way. It's not going <laughs> to end ever. Should we just jump to the end, like the, the big reveal? Yeah, I don't we, know. We, Where are we? How? We're kind of close. Oh, let's let's, let's see how... Oh, Jesus. We're, we're, we're only 40, 40 minutes, minutes away. Oh, we're 40 God. minutes out We should start end. doing our wrap-ups, I think. Yeah, well, let's quickly just discuss the ending come. and what this movie... I, I'll, I'll be honest, up. though. I love that these movies are way too long. It's like... Yeah, that's no, your MO. It doesn't yes. make them better, but like, <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. Said, all these movies are way too long. I wish everybody had went to USC because they would be like... Your movie needs to be 19 minutes, and it's just like, yeah, yeah. what are we doing? You know what I kind of love about it is um, when, like, you know, these movies, like, became syndicated to cable, like, almost, you know, immediately after, like, like about one year after each of them is released. Yeah. As soon as they started doing, like, uh, TBS or, like, TNT, we're doing, we've got the Harry Potter movies, we'll do an all-day marathon. It's like, oh, the weekend, weekend is programmed. <laughs> like, we don't <laughs> yeah. need other shows. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we have two big sequences that haven't played yet that we should probably talk about one is harry and dumbledore going to find the horcrux they've got to go across this dark lake oh god i forgot about that whole scene. he's oh, got to he's got to feed the dumbledore the, has to drink in the a bad water. basin full of poison and harry's got to feed it to him no matter what and dumbledore makes him promise you'll keep feeding and then dumbledore like this he never looks michael gambon doesn't ever look more like a sad old man in this movie then when he just keeps on feeding him the poison, the he's like water. begging yeah. which him like, to stop. At its core, it's like such a stupid concept. Because like, have you ever had to try to force someone to drink something? It's like impossible. As, <laughs> yeah. Were we talking, as about, a guy with a were we talking about frat boy culture earlier? Or something? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like this, this would be an occasion where if they could have <laughs> yeah. crafted some kind of funnel out of it, I think they could have gotten done a lot quicker. Dude, Dumbledore, why don't you just bong this? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, what's the... What's the creatures that's coming out out of the water? Well, and then at oh, the I end, they get attacked by these weird zombie things yeah. that I don't know, like, what are they? And Dumbledore just murders them all with a firestorm. Oh, yeah, and he's doing, like, the um, the Gangnam style. Which is like, pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like where you actually see Dumbledore be kind of a badass. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, he got, got a, a huge firestorm that kills them all. Um, and and also blasts I, one down into the water to get I the one I totally agree Harry. that that scene doesn't really make a lot of sense but i will say this that scene is the most memorable yes. scene of the whole movie agree a thousand percent because I, I watched this again after not watching it for many years i watched it in the theaters and then watched it again this year so that's like a that's like a what like a almost a 10 year gap or something yeah. like that yeah yeah and the one scene i for sure remembered was dumbledore drinking the water it was good, even that that set, like in the darkness, yeah, with the, the water set. and the boat yeah, and, the, and the little rock with a it chalice. It was black and, and white again for that scene. What yeah. I noticed yeah, today, yeah. what Except I noticed fire today, the I think they come up to that place in a boat, right? And there's that scene where he's talking to like baby Tom Riddle. Yeah. There's a bunch of pictures in baby Tom Riddle's little bunk or whatever mm -hmm. and one of them i think is actually a picture of that island oh so there so might be like little like hints already the knew about that place I think, yeah like maybe like yeah something like that yeah, yeah which i thought was really cool they, i never Easter noticed that, that until yeah. today and i yeah. was like oh is that they actually like did a like a plant and payoff that was like you really had to pay attention oh to it's notice. in the scene when he's a what younger yeah oh so he like spins this ring and what is the what is happening here 
He's like destroying it. I think um, I the thought, ring's it another horcrux. Like possessed. It? Well, yeah, he was get yeah. He, when he touched the ring, he got like the Voldemort okay. flashbacks because he and Voldemort are connected. They have, yeah, like, here's the thing that spiritual connection. Exactly. Here's the thing that they're like not saying yet, but is kind of clear is like Harry's scar thing and the fact that Voldemort tried to kill him and it he's didn't work horcrux? means that Harry himself. Oh, is a horcrux. spoiler alert, Colin! <laughs> it's obvious. I still have it's two obvious. movies. It's obvious. It's obvious. It's I, obvious. Um, that's a yeah. great twist, and I really wish I had seen it's it obvious. unravel in the tell, in the you movie. Can tell last no, movie. that's dumb. You can that's, tell last that's, movie. That's, okay. uh, Where that's is not our here? Are you serious? By the way, yeah, yeah, it's very faint sometimes. Yeah, because um, in the in the um when the, in the one where they like they're hunting all the balls with the prophecies in them, it's like one of them has to die for the other to live. Um, you know I, what I mean, I and like you you stay alive by making Horcruxes. So like you yeah, have to destroy but I him. thought the person who lived was Harry and the person who died was Voldemort. But if he's a Horcrux, well, then he we'll can't... find out. Yeah. So okay. So first of all, annoyed that you that you spoiled it. Also annoyed that that's I didn't spoil anything. A stupid thing. We don't well, know. Also, what happened. we don't know that Harry could be a Horcrux right now because we don't know the living things could be Horcruxes yet. We do, uh, we thought they were objects. So sure. you did kind of. So don't say it was obvious. It was not obvious. Well, you didn't okay. figure this out when you, you know were what, like you're right. I treated so Harry like an object. You've seen the entire. <laughs> you've seen the entire series. You're spoiling stuff and acting My like bad. you're smart. And you figured it out. And it's oh, obvious. I was gonna spoil something obvious. else earlier when we were talking about like the. Well, thank you for not spoiling everything. <laughs> it's nice of you. Wait, so you you haven't seen everything? I, I haven't seen everything. You have? Yeah. You. I, I watched ahead. He's read all the books. I read yeah. all the books yeah. and saw I the movies. I point my finger accusatorily at him. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's <laughs> even read the books. <laughs> this son of a bitch. <laughs> I Hello read them this later asshole. in life. I was not a part of the craze like when they first came out. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've read them and like I read a book and then watched the corresponding movie and kind of did it like that all the way oh. through. And then immediately forgot. You were close to an appropriate age. I was too old. This all happened. All this stuff came out when I was an adult. Did not you, that adults? You didn't. did the cosplay and then you hid it in shame. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you did. No, you did some Harry Potter <laughs> larping, <laughs> but later on, after your live action Quidditch matches, you're like all those I was, I negatives this have been destroyed. Two, like it had to be like 2010, 11. So right. this is after college for me. So I yeah. was nowhere near the appropriate. Age. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, let me tell you, his hair is always on point. Dumbledore? Dumbledore. Oh, Dumbledore. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's always I love that he has a thing around the bottom of his beard a lot. Like Sam Jackson in um, in Jackie Brown. (laughs) He's got like the extended version of that. That's if Sam Jackson and Jackie Brown, I just keep on kept on growing it. What do you call beard jewelry? Is that like is there a name for it? Or is you you have to like what if I had a beard? I wanted to seek out uh bejeweling it with a little thing that ties on. I think you could do it with any hair jewelry. Like any normal hair jewelry could also be beard jewelry. They might like this could be an a business angle of like selling buying regular hair jewelry and then reselling it with like a different like, name. Is there is there like a Tiffany's of hair jewelry? <laughs> no. And can they apparate or a little is closer that, is to Tiffany's the fucking place? The, it's place? own Tiffany's of hair jewelry. Um, no, this this looks cool. I was going to say that was the most expensive shot in the movie right there. Yeah. That like sweeping one of like you see the waves and the storm or whatever. I mean, less expensive probably because it was like a, a B camera. They sent they sent some B unit they sent some B unit out to get that they didn't have any actors doing it they so, they're yeah, like some guy who wasn't sure he was actually working for the Harry Potter yeah movie. right <laughs> yeah yeah exactly this is gonna be in Harry Potter you said <laughs> are you sure yeah shut up um, it's raining there's a scene uh, earlier where <laughs> Dumbledore says to Harry like Harry you you really need to shave. And Harry just kind of looks at him for a while. And I thought he was going to say, like, look who's talking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, this little thing that ties his beard together. Yeah, um, yeah with little balls. <laughs> little beard balls. Like, he just got it at a head shop or something. Um, that was a scrunchie. I think. Yeah. <laughs> that was Dumbledore in the in the 80s. Yeah. What this is, is from the, the This is from the finest retailer of beard balls in the world. <laughs> beard balls. <laughs> beard balls. Where do you get beard your balls beard balls? Beard balls are I, I got mine at Diagonal. Di- what is it called? Diagon Alley. Diagon yeah. Alley. Um, yeah. Can I, you get them at like the men's warehouse? I want a little, I want a little men's, sh- men's <laughs> yeah. warehouse in Diagon Alley. Yeah. Just like, oh, the men's warehouse in Diagon Alley. Oh, they have the best beard balls. The wizarding world of men's warehouse. <laughs> um, You're going to feel magic the way you look. So I guarantee the, it. <laughs> <laughs> the last, uh, the last important scene that we need to talk about is Dumbledore <laughs> does finally get killed. Yes. Yeah. So. Does he? Does he uh, die? According to Colin, well, as per this movie, 
he is dead. We don't know. We uh, saw him get. We, you see him get killed in this. Yeah, movie. but it's the yeah, fucking wizards. Hey, I, I seen yeah. Voldemort. Yeah. I seen Voldemort get killed several times in these it. movies, and he keeps yeah. on not being dead. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Well, he I gets killed know. in every movie, just about. Ooh, and, uh, I wouldn't know. I would say it's just me out that he died because I was like, he's just. Well, also in this movie, we learn to make Horcruxes. You have to kill people, which is evil. And Dumbledore is not super evil. Not a single one. Uh, I I don't know who Dumbledore has or hasn't killed, but I feel like maybe he's killed some bad people. I don't know. Maybe. Does that do enough? So every, every wizard murderer has Horcruxes? No, you have to you have to like know what you're doing. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can't um, just like go you can't just go like murdering and then like accidentally get a horcrux. You gotta be like doing the murder and trying to get a horcrux. Yeah, it's like a gang initiation. Mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. Um, blood in, blood out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So here's my <laughs> I don't know. So here's my question. The um the the oh, I guess the important thing to talk about about that last scene is that like Darko is supposed to be the one who kills. Darko. Why do you call him? Darko Milicic. It's bad. <laughs> it's hard for me to tell if he's doing it intentionally. Or yeah, not. I can't tell I'm either. Not, I'm not, but I don't mind it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Draco is is supposed to be the one. Voldemort handpicks Draco to kill. This is what we don't know this until the very end of the movie. That Draco's whole mission is to kill Dumbledore. We do know that Draco has a mission and that somebody is trying to kill Dumbledore. Yes. So that's, and and that's we could kind of piece that together. But this yeah. is but this is where, by the end of the movie, it all comes back around that we understand by that final scene, we understand that Draco is supposed to kill Dumbledore and that Snape has, A, made this unbreakable vow yep. that he will both help Draco do this and if Draco can't do it, that he will do it himself. Yeah. And Dumbledore trusts Snape. In fact, when he's near death and they apparate back to Hogwarts... Harry Potter says, we got to get you to the medical wing. And Dumbledore says, no, Severus, get Severus. Nobody but Severus. Bring Severus here. And then before Harry can even leave, Draco shows up to murder Dumbledore. And Harry's hiding underneath, underneath. the floor. And, he's, and he says, somebody's coming no matter what happens. And for once, this is another thing about Harry being the worst in most of the other movies. He always, basic instructions, he's so dumb at them. But in this one, he's told... Make me drink the the poison. Make me do this. You know, do what I say. Hide and don't let anybody know. And then he sees Dumbledore get murdered. And to his credit, he doesn't come running out, waving his wand, going, you bastards, I'll kill you. Like he does in every other time something bad happens. He actually keeps his mouth shut and does what he's told, which shows real growth from him. True. But he does see Snape, who he sees Snape underground. And Snape's like, shh, I got this. Right. But earlier in the movie, he sees Snape. With Dumbledore. Darko. Oh yeah, with yeah, with Darko, yeah. Yeah. And he's like <laughs> don't now you're doing now do you're doing it. it. <laughs> he's like, don't he's like, something bad is happening here. Yeah. So that's why I was confused when he says Be it's quiet. something along the lines of like Snape is has to play along. Otherwise he Yeah, that's what I kind of killed or die or something. I, something I don't know like what I don't know what guy. the backstory is, but I know we're gonna learn something later on that means that Snape was actually like because because I don't think Dumbledore Dumbledore says like please to him, but it's not like a begging please. So I think Dumbledore knows that Severus is gonna kill him in that well, scene. Well, I I mean, don't I, ruin <laughs> anything, Ruiner. <laughs> Well, I, I can tell you all the point. Like, I'm not gonna keep watching should I wait? This shit? Should I wait Try until? Well should I wait until we stop recording? Wait until I'm I'll, in my cold, you. dead yeah. grave <laughs> before you spoil everything. Yeah, just I'm just back. saying that, like, I've never bought the Snape's a bad guy, and that scene is not convincing um, me of it. Well, even though it is, even though they do play it out pretty good okay, with like. Uh, so we do get to see Dumbledore's wand in this. He has a special wand, and that, like, we see that. Which is important, but I can't say why. Oh my god! <laughs> Will you just stick to the movie we're doing? We should just all right. Start. Yeah, we should, we should, we should start, just start wrapping, wrapping it up it on up. the yeah. end. Okay. All right. So we watched this, this set movie. Is good. What do we think, uh, Harris? You want to? Um, yeah, I am going to be brief. Uh, this movie was fine. It was uh, there wasn't enough Snape. The Ginny Weasley stuff is fucking exhausting. <laughs> Um, I'm, I I love I, how much you hate. Jimmy I, no, no, listen, it's, listen. It's, it's, it's nothing it against that. It's nothing against that actress who's a very pretty actress, and I'm sure she was trying her best. Yeah. Um, but and she probably, you know, to the, she probably did not get as much acting training and attention as all the other leads that have been in all these movies. So yep. she probably didn't have the resources to to improve her acting. But she's 
really rough. Um, but the main cast is really good. There's not enough Hermione either. I feel like I like a lot of Hermione and Snape stuff, and there's not enough of either of that. Yep. Um, it's definitely taken a grim tone, which I don't hate, but I do like that there's been like fun moments in some of the other ones. There's not as much here. Um, I don't know. It was basically, I felt like it was an average Harry Potter movie, which was, at this point, I'm kind of committed. I'm into it. It's entertaining. I wanted to see what happened. So I can't give it anything lower than six Timothy Dolphins. So that's what I'm giving it. Um, it it oh, definitely, yeah, six in. Timothy Dolphins. Um, I definitely I definitely could have given it more Timothy Dolphins, um, but I definitely could have given it less <laughs> Timothy Dolphins. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Just, it's, a Tim- it's your standard Timothy Dolphin scale. Ten it's is the best, ten. one is the least. Or it's from one to ten, not one out of ten. You don't have to give it a one out of ten. <laughs> Sorry. It's uh yeah. It's, it's just our scale. We'll explain yeah. later. It needs no explanation. Everyone, <laughs> everyone knows what a ten point Timothy Dolphin scale is. Yeah. Ashley is nodding her head like she knows. She's fine. It's, a, it's what a are quantity, all these little golems though? Where do they come from and do they have souls? No, can we talk about why why he couldn't get the water? Like why didn't the water work? I don't yeah. get that either. Yeah. Yeah. There was no like, one understands. It's this. like everything was very enchanted. Also, he's got the most powerful wizard in the world standing next to him, begging him to just yeah. give him his wand. Give me and he's, water. Yeah. I also I want to know when he's drinking like the 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 pain water or like the 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 poison or whatever does it does it does it taste good but hurt bad does it taste bad and hurt bad does it taste bad and like not hurt so bad i kind of imagine it as like a like cheap tequila flavor that like burns on the way down but also has like the mouth drying effect of something like maraschino it looks where like he's 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 desperately thirsty but also has like heartburn and is just like not in good it looks kind of like seven parts water three parts jägermeister or something like that that might be it which is weird because we keep coming back to like frat boy things in this. It's, it's it might be strange. seven parts Jägermeister, three parts water, actually. Yeah. Anyways, Dumbledore's hammered and he's doing a firestorm <laughs> here. Um, <laughs> the fire effects are pretty good, though. Fireball. I just love that he's doing like, you know, like Gangnam Style or like Devo Whip It or whatever. Like, just like, oh. Pitbull's Fireball. I think um, or, um, did you ever. Okay. What's one? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Apache. Apache. Yeah, jump jump on. That's what he's jump doing. That's what he's jump doing. On. The Apache. Um, did you ever. There was a song that was popular like around when I was in high school. Um, Apache. I just said it. Hot no, that was that was actually before I was in high school. But um, it's been popular since. I, it's always funny. Like anytime I talk to someone younger, they they never know what I'm talking about. But I'm like, there was this, this rapper named Petey Pablo. And he had an entire song, and the whole chorus was, North Carolina, come on and raise up, take your shirt off, spin it around your head, make it like a helicopter. And then he just, like, said that. And Normally, like, I would accuse you. The whole you, video for the song was just people just doing that with their shirts. Normally, I would accuse I like, you of just great. making shit up. It's not it's But this not is definitely, was he up. a Houston rapper by any chance? He was from whole, North Carolina. Oh, well, see, because yeah. I was going to say, there's, like, a whole sub, like, if you're not from Texas, there's a rap scene in Texas oh, that yeah. is very sequestered. <laughs> yeah. That, like, I'm just <laughs> saying that, so like, funny to me. <laughs> it just, I just is. And I, so it, it might have been a Texas thing, but I don't know. But I, no, I it was a very popular it's song. North Carolina. It just was uh, yeah. only Doesn't, popular yeah. in like 2000 or something. Like okay. That, you know, like. All right. I don't know. The era of Bubba Sparks, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was just some guy in your high school brought brought his cousin's, no, Petey Pablo his cousin's was, demo no, tape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So support yeah. him then. But yeah. don't that leave was, me that was my favorite so, Petey Pete Pablo song. Yeah. Uh, because I don't know. This, Can you name another Petey Pablo song? I. I. I, so it's your favorite by default. I do know that I know another P.D. Pablo song, but I cannot remember the name of it. I feel I know like that I don't another know one. another P.D. Pablo I would song. guess he probably had one called like I'm P.D. Pablo or Here Comes P.D. Pablo. <laughs> there is there is a beginning to one of his songs that's literally like, who am I, P.D. Pob, motherfucker? <laughs> like, that's what he says. I like that part too. He had he had a certain charm, charisma. <laughs> all right, who else is going to rate this stupid I'll one? go. Um, all right. This was not my favorite. I was just looking at my past scores, and uh, I think I know where I land with this one. Uh, I am going to jump off something that Colin said. I was going to save it for now to say, but about I... About Petey Pablo? <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> this is the most Petey Pablo of all of the uh, Harry Potter movies. <laughs> no, for me, for me, this movie is not memorable. It doesn't have, like... Like, I feel like each movie has its staple thing of, like, that's what you remember. Oh, 
Prisoner of Azkaban, that's the one with uh, Sirius Black and werewolves or whatever. Oh, Goblet of Fire has the Tri uh, Wizard Tournament. This movie, I guess the most memorable thing about it or the thing that people know is that um, Dumbledore dies, right? This is mm -hmm. the one where Dumbledore dies. Yep. But that's like a 30 second like scene in this movie, you know? And the rest of it, it I feel like this one meanders quite a bit. It's just like sort of every movie has its central mystery and you're kind of like, okay, we're, we're, even if we meander a little bit, we're following this trajectory of like, okay, we want to solve this thing. You know, what's super funny about that. What? Oh, sorry. I, I know you're like on your, but, um, uh, you know, I was talking about, there was stuff I remembered Please like be that a pun. And, and I didn't remember it. No, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> uh, I, I remember Dumbledore dies. I did not remember who the half blood prince was. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And, like, that's exactly what you're talking about. I didn't remember who yeah. the Half-Blood Prince was. I didn't even remember how he died. Yeah. Uh, I vaguely was like, oh, maybe Snape has something to do with it. Uh, I forgot that Malfoy was even involved in that scene. Um, but, yeah, I in my memory, this was always the horny one where they go to the <laughs> dance. But the dance scene happened in the two movies ago, so that's not what I was thinking of. <laughs> 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 Although this is kind of horny, this one. Um yeah, I don't know. I don't like the 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 color grade that they did on this. It's like really uh, inconsistent and and weird. And it seemed like they were just trying a bunch of shit. They were like, yeah, black and white for this scene. Uh, I will say on your TV, Colin, this is not like on my TV. I, it felt like I had like the sepia tone, like yellow. It was just yellow. The yeah, whole this is a nice movie. TV, Colin. Thank you. Um, it's just desaturated. There is color there. It's. Just very desaturated. I'm curious to see the next two movies. I don't remember them being as desaturated as this, or I don't know. Like I, I can picture the poster of Harry Potter or the trailer moment rather of Harry Potter and and Voldemort zapping each other, and their wands are like having the like fireball battle, and it's like orange on that side and blue on that side. They like always the, do the good colors like lava are, effects on the yeah, the like are really prominent to me. But this one is like there's no color at all. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I was really bored with this one. At, coming off of the last two movies, which I think we we all really liked, um, I feel like this one took a took a downturn into boringness. Um, so yeah, I have to. I my lowest score was Harry Potter one, which I gave a six, and I think I'd rather watch the first movie than this again. So oh, I, I, oh, have, really? I have to give this. I disagree with that. I yeah. have to give this. That's insane talk, but. No, it's at least just, the first too, one is The first like, one is just too kitty. It's too, yeah, wow. they're just too little. It accomplishes what it's set out to do, whereas this movie, I feel like, fails us in a lot of ways. Um, so I'm going to give it five Timothy Dalton songs. <laughs> Would you like to go next or me go next? Okay. Uh, so this was a movie. It had a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um it's based on a book. I, I'm sure we discussed that. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I've already kind of said a lot of what I thought. Like, I, I kind of going off of what Matt said. I do think there is a problem with this movie um, at times. Just like because it's so long, and because there are things that just aren't memorable don't really grab your interests in the right way enough. Like it does become boring at times, but you know, because like that, that's more of my impression. The first time I saw this movie, you know, when I first saw it in the theaters, I was like, yeah, that felt long. And like, and like I was saying, like, I didn't remember like several parts. There were several parts that I like for sure remembered. I remember Dumbledore dying. I remember what the scene looked like. I remember the whole Horcruxes thing and him drinking the bad water. Uh, and then there were a few other things. I obviously the performance of the um, the guy we've talked about who was the chair, uh, Jim Broadbent. Yeah, I, I totally agree with Harris. Not enough Snape. Um, not enough of Hermione being like a know it all. Uh, and and like we're not getting like all the all those other like surrounding characters that build the world. When we were talking about, we didn't have the guy with the hat and we didn't have mad eye. We didn't really get a lot of, um, Hagrid is barely in this. Too. Yeah. Hagrid's barely in it. Like a lot of those side characters, McGonagall's not, doesn't really say much or do much, even though there's a lot of Quidditch and we know she's a big like Quidditch lady. Um, this movie feels like they had to give Dumbledore his 
is due. I feel yeah. like there's a joke we can make. Double there. doing it. Yeah. He's double doing it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, for obvious reasons. Okay. Continue. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, no, I agree. Uh, yeah, so I agree with a lot of what you guys said. Um, I do think there were memorable parts of it, and I do, I found a greater appreciation, uh, a greater appreciation of the fact that these movies are all just way too long. I think it's like, I think it's like funny now. Like, it's like almost like a tongue-in-cheek joke on the audience, I guess, <laughs> which is like, that's that's not what you should do. <laughs> Fooled you. You just spent two and a half hours in a movie. <laughs> Suckers. Yeah, sucker. <laughs> you. you must have no life. Yeah, where's, where'd your life go? Oh, you watched this movie? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't know. Uh, How does that translate to Timothy Dolphins? I would say I'm kind of like... I'm looking in the, uh, I'm in the six seven area right now. I'm thinking of six point oh, five. For fuck's sake, <laughs> Jesus, really? They hate, when, they hate it when you don't use. Ashley, you're not supposed to. They're whole <laughs> dolphins. Don't cut the dolphin in half. That's just cruel. So when wait, you, that was your final score? Yeah, fool. Say it one more time. Six and a half, Timothy Dolphins. You know what it is? It's a it's an indicator of a of somebody who doesn't have organized coherent thoughts. It's when you can't just make a decision oh, when you can't about, do the whole dolphin no yeah. yeah when you can't just decide between a six or a seven know. it's like a wishy-washy i, I have a lot of eh, six point eh, it could be a 6.5 could be an 8.5 i don't know it could be a four i, I have a lot of questions about my own porpoise <laughs> stop <laughs> all right ashley um okay listen as someone who is not a harry potter fan mm-hmm. or nerd or geek or whatever <laughs> uh, or something that isn't as disparaging. Um, a pothead. <laughs> a pothead, if you will. Yeah. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't into it. I wasn't into it. And I feel like I had thoughts. Like, I, I wanted either more or less of things. And the things I got more of, I felt like were a waste of my time. Who's she? It's In the middle there. What is, I don't, some Dumbledore's person. widow. <laughs> it, it was just like, what am I watching a lot of the time? Oh, I put some notes. Let me see what my notes are. Um, I feel like this movie was forgettable. Um, in the canon of Harry Potter, I feel like this was forgettable. Um, I feel like the women were whack in this movie. I feel like everybody was like, Funny. I want to do a love potion. And it's like. Who cares about love potions? Um, I mean, it could have been interesting if it was done in in, in a different way. Um, and I also think that I, the half blood. What? What? What you got to say? I, I tell didn't me. Interrupt. What? I, tell me. One of the things You're gonna that I've seen. Up to I, interrupt I, a woman. No, 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 I'm just kidding. I, I will say one of the things. In I've fairness, he also interrupted Matt, and he's kind of been interrupting everyone. So go ahead, yeah. go ahead, Colin. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. interrupted he's everyone. So easy to I, see. I think I interrupted everyone else's. Uh, it's story, fun. Actually, go ahead. sorry. Um, I, I will say one of the things that I've seen from like the people who are like really into the books, like the big nerds and stuff, is they they say that Ginny Weasley in the books is like a is a really strong female character. In a lot of ways, like not including not just being obsessed with Harry, but also she's just like good at everything. And like her character comes out in the books and stuff like that. And like it does speak to some of what Harris was talking about is like this actress is not working for him, you know, stuff like that. So like we did miss out on that, I think, in this particular movie. That aspect uh, of the, the movies, like it yeah. definitely feels like they dropped the ball. And, and we've talked about casting. Like yeah. we, we feel like the casting in this whole series is like really great. They did a great job like finding actors who can stick like they stuck through the entire way and like are good you know like and every like he is a great harry potter like she's hermione's good all the teachers are good and a lot of the students are really memorable the one standout there or I, like the opposite of standout is uh, is Ginny. she's like she feels bland she's the bland you know like of the series <laughs> but a lot of like a lot of the things i've seen about people who've read the books is like she's a really really good character in the books uh, compared to the way she's represented in the movies. So that's kind of like definitely along the lines of what you're talking about. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's yeah. a, it's it, it feels like a lot of missed opportunities. Like that's how I feel about this movie. Mm. Um, and I feel like especially the half – Blooded Prince reveal is like so thrown away. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm the half blooded prince. And it's mm-hmm. like 
What does that mean? Bro, what what are we talking <laughs> about here? So so I'm I'm also a very harsh critic. If you've ever seen any of our shows, oh uh, you wanna know my dolphin rating? Uh oh, here we go. I'm giving it four, bro. Oh four. shit. Yeah. That's that's I think that's completely cool. Especially. I I have it. If I if this if I was watching this as like a standalone movie and didn't have the baggage of all the other ones that like honestly most of my interest in this entire film was just seeing what the develops from yeah, yeah from previous things and leading into the next stuff this is a this feels like a very interstitial movie I think on its own this is probably the one of the weakest you're probably right Matt this yeah. could even be weaker than the first one yeah. It's just that the first one it's, has the it's catching me at a good time. Everything. Well, it's R.A.B. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, well, that's the thing. It's 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 making me want to watch the next movie. Oh, yeah. And it? it's also sort of leading from stuff that came in the previous movies. But as a movie itself, it really doesn't do much for me. If I watched this as a standalone, I think it would, I think four would have been generous. Totally. Yeah. Uh, can I take I, a guess? I don't the remember way you were, who R.A.B. is. Is it Regulus Black? I, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yeah. I only guess this because there's a scene in this movie where he... The, What's his name? Says I. Tr- I he goes on and on about Regulus Black, yeah. and I'm like, who the fuck is this? If your name is Regulus, and that's you, it's such a memorable. Like I was like, what oh, kind yeah. of a name is that? Yeah. But if your name is Regulus, do you sometimes go by Reggie, or is that like? <laughs> not? Maybe. Maybe it's possible. Okay. Look, look, this, look at him touch her hand. It's like very. Uh, this there's a thing that like it's like a spoiler. It's not a spoiler, but it's like. They fuck basically. No, they don't fuck. No, really? <laughs> no, 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 just just oral. There is just like oral. doesn't count. Doesn't what? count. <laughs> there is like a little side plot about like jealousy between Ron and 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 Harry and and her eventually. Oh, I'm getting sick all these spoilers. Like I, that's not that's not a huge spoiler. You know that's coming, right? I mean, like yeah, it's that, going to be a point. That where is Ron that is, is way like, more obvious than yeah. uh, Harry being a horcrux. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. There's gonna be a point where Ron is like, "Why are you?" I think they should have cut to. I think they should have cut to Ron there and just have like snapping a pencil in half. (laughs) Right, it just ends on that. (laughs) Snapping a pencil in half, (laughs) just breaks the end (laughs) off his wand. He's like, (laughs) "I'm okay with this." I expected this this thing to burst. Oh yeah, me too. Big time. It's It's a a phoenix. Oh yeah, I thought it was gonna. So I thought it's Dumbledore's, it's Dumbledore's like thing. pet that yeah. he keeps yeah. in his office, and it, all the and time. it burns and bur- bursts into flames and dies, and then reemerges. And I thought it would be cool if it had burst into flames and then just disappeared. That exactly. Was it. Yeah. But also insinuating that, like you know, Dumbledore will come back in right, some yeah. fashion. Right. Right? Okay, does he? I need to know. Ugh. Spoil it for me. Well, Spoil that's all we have this time for a license to watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Catch us next week. Um, Ashley, <laughs> thank you so much for coming out and, and bearing with us for By the way, do you guys remember hours? 40 minutes ago when we saw there was 40 minutes left in the movie and we all groaned and said there's no way we were going to make it? Jesus, what the fuck do we do these podcasts for? This did we so... skip ahead at all? No, we didn't. We just we left just, it. We uh, just talked for another 40 minutes. Oh, oh, we God. did pause in the middle. That was before. We had, a, we had like that an intermission. Before. That was like yeah. our intermission. Don't, that's true, don't that's let true. the people know about our intermission. It kept... It, yeah. Oh, uh, secret. Spoiler alert. Con- spoiler oh, alert. I've spoiled <laughs> everything. Ashley, what are you doing now? Yeah. Wh- do you have anything what, you want to plug? What's up? Anything you want like, Yeah. What do you want to, <laughs> what do you want to, got any social media that people can stalk you on? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Follow me on social media at Ashley Cheerio. Spelled exactly how you think it is. Like spelled. the cheer. Like the cereal. Like the Cheerio. Like the Cheerio, <laughs> like the cheerio <laughs> cereal. Very good. Very good. Um, yeah. My movie that I produced has premiere by the time of this airing, but you know, stuff is coming. Follow me on social media. I post funny memes. You like well, my memes? What's the movie called and can people watch it online or is there like a way that they could um, see it? The movie is called Rooted, um, directed by Sean Otto. Who Former guest of this yep. show. Yep, been on the show and uh, it'll be available at some point, but um, is there a website, a movie website, or like social media or something that you can find out more about the movie? I'm putting you on the spot. Don't do that. Don't do that. Cut all of this out. <laughs> just say like, uh, uh, just be like, yes, there is. That's, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, follow that's me it. on social media, and I will post yeah. the link to the movie. You can tell me later, and I'll put it in the show notes. Yes, that'll be great. Yeah. Great, yeah. great, great, great. Yeah, but, um, you know, stuff is coming. So, in the meantime, follow me for my memes. Yes. I like the sound yes. of that. Everyone loves memes. That's all I've got. They'll follow you, and then they'll put 
the memes in our text thread, which I have muted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I will see them eventually. Yeah. It's true. He doesn't true. talk to us. <laughs> true. <laughs> um, all right. So with that, uh, how should we end this show? Who am I? PD Pub, motherfucker. Don't care, mother. Thank you, everybody, once again for listening. And please remember to rate, review, and subscribe if you like listening to us talk about your favorite film franchises. Thank you to our guest, Ashley Chrisman. And as always, thank you to Chris Morocco for banging out the You're a Wizard Harry remix for this series. Please subscribe to our Patreon for just $1 a month over at www.patreon.com slash L2W. That's www.patreon.com slash L2W. Help support the podcast by joining and you get instant access to over 50 bonus shows that feature us covering non-franchise classics and so much more every single month. Again, that website to join is www.patreon.com slash L2W. Thank you to our brand new interns, Hope and Henry, for doing research on this series. This show is a part of the Fandom Limb Podcast Network, so please be sure to check out some of their other awesome shows. And be sure to tune in next time for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1. Yes, sir.